Okay, we're looking good. So welcome, everybody. That's right, you read the title right. There is a remaster for Pokemon Dusk. This is a really, really old fan game, by the way. A spooky fan game about zombies and Pokemon. I thought this would be a good way to start Spooky Month off. Revisit this thing. It's probably been like over six years. Let's do it. Hit new game, choose a mode. Yeah, this is new. So, easy mode is easy. Hardcore mode is something that's new, right? Warning, in hardcore mode, there are less healing items and bosses are stronger. You can only save three times. You will always get the true ending. You have the opportunity to unlock three secret endings. Nope. Maybe another time. Bonus material is like an extra thing, I think, if you, uh... If you're familiar with Pokemon Dawn. So let's just play normal mode. I've got a controller for this this time, so it should be much easier to do. In normal mode, there's an average amount of healing items. The strength of enemies and bosses is normal. You have the opportunity to unlock two secret endings. You want to start the game in normal mode? Yes. Let's do it. I hope you're all ready. Oh, oh this is so loud all of a sudden. Yeah, fair warning. There's a lot of variety of music used in these games that may possibly have to be muted. I remember having that issue with the old version back in the day. March 25th, 2000. Limited number of saves in RPG Maker would be very scary. Yes, it would. Finally, we're out of Elix Forest. Look, Brando. We're almost in Goldenrod City. We actually got here before dark. Isn't that great? Yeah. Lava. Quilava. Come on, Brando. Let's find a Pokemon Center for you. We should avoid the tall grass. Quilava. Okay. So let me take a look at options. Key bindings. Move character. Use talk. Okay, that should be good. Back. Perfect. We're good to go, everybody. Am I allowed to save yet, or can I only do that later? Perfect. So if you've never seen this before, you don't need to watch my old playthrough. It's, like, really old. Back when I first started streaming with a potato mic. Daycare. Let us raise your Pokemon for you. Brando's my only Pokemon. Can't give him to the daycare. He's my only protection. But this is very... Very comfy. It's a very campy Pokemon horror game. It's been a while since I've done something like this. We don't see them a lot anymore. So get a snack, relax, and enjoy something a little bit different. Oh, almost missed the Pokemon Center. Heal your Pokemon. This is the first game in a trilogy. That's right. I believe Dawn also has a remaster, so we can play that too. Hmm, what? The Pokemon Center is closed? How is that possible? That has never happened to me. Hmm. I think we should ask a citizen about what's going on here. I'm sure the people could help us. Lava. Lava. It's super comfy. Everybody get a snack. It's real spooky hours now. Ah! Excuse me, ma'am. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Whoa. Whoa. Evil zombie. Oh my god, what happened to you? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, there's portraits for every everything now. That's cool. I think the old version only had a portrait for Ethan, and that was it. Y you're bleeding! Let me help you! Could you tell me what's up with the Pokemon Center? Strangely, it's closed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another dead walking body? Take that! Oh, F, that was my last bullet. What? Oh my god, why did you shoot that poor woman? Murderer. If I hadn't shot this lady, you'd be dead meat now, boy. What? Ah. Oh. This game's a little bit edgy, too. Oh, yeah. The boy probably had a shock and lost his consciousness. He will certainly wake up soon. Check if he was bitten. 
If he was, we will end his life quickly. He's completely fine. No need to be worried. Okay. Oh, hang on. I gotta mute this. This is a vocal track from a band that's playing right now. Hold up. So, yeah, you guys can't listen to that, or this whole VOD would just get, like, taken down. Yeah. Just imagine cool rock music playing. Okay, I can turn it back on. Luckily, the game pauses when I click out, so... Oh, wait, it's still going? Why is it still going? Thank goodness I started talking over it. <laughs> it looped back around. Oh, you're finally awake. Listen to that Resident Evil 2 meaty. Heck yeah. Yeah, um, just a quick note. The creator of this game originally made it in German, so... It might... <laughs> the tr English translation might sound a little bit more edgier than intended, so... It's cool. Oh, you're finally awake. How you doing, boy? Ah. What? Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, sweetie. You're safe now. My name is Martha. You are in the underground of Goldenrod City. You had a shock and Dave brought you here. Dave? I like how Dave looks drastically different than everyone else. I'm the guy who saved your ass out there. Use my last bullet for you. He's got sunglasses. That's how you know he's cool. I remember. You shot this woman. Wait a moment. Brando? How's my Quilava doing? Lava. Lava. Quilava. Oh. You're alright. That's great. I figured this would be a great way to do some spooky games, yeah. Hello, I took care of your Quilaba while you were asleep. His wounds were healed, and he is totally fit again. How are you, my boy? Do you think you can stand up already? I... I think I can. Yeah, you're good. C could you tell me now where exactly I am? I know that this is somewhere in the underground of the city, but what is this? Why did Dave murder that woman? She was already injured. This is the underground bunker and the underground of Goldenrod City. We've got everything we need. Beds, food, and medical treatment. We're safe here, for now. Safe? From what? What are you talking about? That woman I shot in front of your eyes. She wasn't human anymore. Because she was already... Dead. Dead? But she was still moving towards me. That's the point. They are neither really dead, nor really alive. They? Yes, they. The living dead. Or zombies. Roamers, lame brains, infected. Whatever. They're everywhere now, and they crave one thing. Living meat. This woman from before. She wanted to eat you and your Quilava alive. What are you saying? This can't be. That's how it is. If she had bitten you just once, you'd become one of them within a few hours. What do you mean? Once you get bitten by an undead, you start to feel sick. Your body temperature rises, till the fever kills you eventually. Problem is, you won't stay dead for long. You'll return as a mindless, undead creature. This... This has to be a bad dream, right? Tell me I'm dreaming. That would be great, boy. A cure, or a vaccine, I'm sure there has to be one, right? Unfortunately not. We aren't even sure what caused this horrendous mutation. Only thing we can do now is survive. We can't do anything besides that. But what if we just flee from the city? No way. These roamers have taken over the entire city. The areas outside the city are even worse. Unfortunately, everyone with a flying-type Pokémon already fled from the city. And they left us behind. Egotistic B-word. Even the gym leader Whitney disappeared without a trace. But Brando and I just left Elix Forest. We didn't see any undead. What? That's impossible. Elix Forest is filled with those beasts. You getting out of there was pure luck. Going there now would be suicide. We stay here. Fortunately, we found this emergency bunker that was built a long time ago. But there's still a lot to do. You want to stay, you gotta prove your worth for the group. Come to me once you're prepared to take on your first task. 
Okay, let's make a save. Important to save often, in case we waste resources. Hi, my name is Melanie, and you must be Ethan, right? Why do I look so sad? Something depresses me, but I don't want to talk about it. Not yet. Hello, Ethan. If your Kulava is weakened, you can come to me and I'll heal it. But our medical supplies aren't as uh, sumptuous as a Pokemon Center. Which means I can heal your Kulava just five times. I'm back if you need my help. Dave has a task for you. Hmm, pardon me. No, no, no. YouTube's a different place than it was six, seven years ago. Settle down with your language, Dave. Hey, Ethan. When I dragged you in here, I noticed an infected Houndour following us. A Houndour? Of the Pokemon? Yeah. Humans as well as Pokemon can get infected. I just have to read his dialogue with the radical 90s dude-like flavor. Anyways, I've neither pistol, bu pistol bullets nor a strong Pokemon to kill it. We're safe in here, but I don't have a good feeling with a zombie in front of our door. Your Kualava seems strong enough to beat these monsters. We have to get rid of it. Oh boy. <laughs> that poop head's over there! Settle down, Dave. This is a wholesome teddy bear stream. Now this is where your Kualava comes into play. Forget everything you think you know about Pokemon battles. This is just about survival. Use Brando's melee attack scratch by pressing this on this button. If enemies in front of you, use scratch against it. Successful hits will knock back the enemy. If you miss your enemy, they attack and Brando loses HP. Use Brando's ranged attack Ember by pressing 2. Ember allows hitting enemies from a distance, but it has a disadvantage. Enemies will not be knock knocked back. Be careful. You can't use your attacks as fast as you want. They only work if the blue PP bar that you see in the upper right corner of the screen is filled. You can see your current HP above the PP bar or in the menu under Pokemon. If Brando's HP hits zero, Brando dies and it's game over. Okay, Brando. Attack. Just loop him. That's the strat. Excellent. No damage. That worked great. Your Kualava's got a lot of potential. Okay, let's go back in. The strategy of this game is to just, like, loop the uh, enemies with the knockback properly. It's so weird. That was excellent, Ethan. You're a great Pokemon trainer. This was just the beginning. When I saved you, I was actually searching for someone. You mean, I was actually looking for Harold when I accidentally met you. Couldn't just let you die there, of course, so I dragged you down here. I tasked Harold with blocking the entrances to the city so that no more undead can come into the city. But he still hasn't come back. You know that I don't have any am ammunition. What do you mean by that? Well, you and your Kualava are a strong team. Harold is responsible for our safety. If something went wrong, we're all in even greater danger than before. We need to know what happened, and that's why I'm asking you. Search him, please. But outside, what if he's already dead? I want to stay here and survive. I know you're afraid, but we will all die if Harold didn't finish his task. And trust me, we have already lost some good people during the last couple days. I don't want to see anyone die anymore. Everyone here has to do their best. Nurse Joy takes care of the injured. Martha takes er, cares for them afterwards and is responsible for the rest. I analyze the city's weak points and search for secret passages. And Harold fixes these problematic spots. If you have a strong Pokemon at your side, we have no other Pokemon here, unfortunately. But we all have to work together if we want to survive. Alright, I got it. I'll do it. We will search for him. We'll probably be dead if it wasn't for him. Thank you, Ethan. You should go back to Route 34. Look at the exit of Elix Forest. That's where he wanted to start securing the city. You can also take on side quests from other survivors. I think that girl Melanie has an urgent problem. We'll look after her. Brando, let's go. Quilava. Quee Quilava. Ethan, do you have a moment for me? 
You're doing all of us a great favor, so I want to give you this. Got a berry from Martha. A berry regenerates 5 HP of your Pokémon. Just open your bag and use it. Thanks a lot. I'm sure we'll need this. I remember that there's a lot of, like, janky boss fights later on in this game, so I need to, like, save my healing items and damage as much as possible early on. I can save as much as I want, but only in the base. Hi, Ethan. When this disease broke out, we were hunted by a lot of infected. My brave Bellsprout stayed behind, so I had a chance to escape. But it got attacked and bitten in the head. And now I know that my cute Bellsprout is one of them. I'm sorry, but I think I need to cry. Please, Ethan, if you see it, free it from its misery. Please, 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 I don't want it to walk around like this. Please, kill it. I will kill it. It's all right. I will do it. Thanks a lot. I'll give you a reward for it. The last time I saw my bell sprout, it was in the radio tower, or near the radio tower. Go to the exit of Elix Forest on Route 34 and look for Harold. Just want to know what happened to him. Okay, let's get comfy. So, Minor, you probably know. Are all the other games in this series remastered? It'll be worth a replay. I figured if we're going to do spooky stuff this season, you know, giving the Pokemon audience some as well would be nice. So we can't save outside. Okay. Nice. So enemies you kill stay dead for good, I'm pretty sure. Locked. Locked. I don't think I can go to anywhere right now. I should just stick to the main quests. Come on. I'm pretty sure they're moving around very randomly. What? How did he hit me? Oh, that's absurd. Oh, well. There's the bell sprout. Now that I'm actually playing this with, uh controller, I should be okay. Trying to play this with the keyboard was a nightmare with the button settings. Okay. Okay. Go here. Okay, so the other... So, remastering this game just kind of made... Updated a few things. Okay. So, Dawn is still the same release? Mm-hmm. Locked. I could still just replay Dawn and uh, whatever the third one is. There's a, there's also uh, Chronicles Dave, the side story one. Okay, there's you. Yes, they are mo doing that, like, move towards the player, but also with a little bit of randomness. I've seen that setting in RPG Maker before. Darn it. Oh my god, dude. Lame. Ugh. Sometimes when they randomly shuffle to the side, you just get hit stupidly because of stuff like that. It's so annoying. Oh well. There should be more than enough heals for me to do it. Someone blocked the entrance to Elix Forest with trucks. Do you think it, that was this Herald? Hey! There's something on the ground! Looks like some sort of checklist. Block South Entrance. Block North Entrance. Investigate Pokemon Gym. Herald isn't here anymore. And he wasn't at the north entrance, either. Looks like we'll have to drop by the gym. Although I'm wondering, what is he trying to investigate there? Let's go have a look, why don't we? Everyone get comfy and cozy. There's spooky flesh-eating zombies roaming around. You know what that means, right? Hug your plushies. Oh, no! Help! Help me! I can't believe it! A survivor! Probably this Herald guy. Quick, let's help him. Whoa. Oh, this is kind of loud. Oh, hang on. Someone's coming towards me. Let me reset this. Come on. Come on. Nice. Infected Puff! Come on. Come on. 
Come on. I need you to go around this way. Hold up, I need to turn it down a little bit. The meaties just get so loud all of a sudden. Jeez. They're trying to move towards me. Oh, that's so... Oh, that is so unfair. That is so unfair, dude. I couldn't even move when that was happening. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Just don't input anything. I love when it does that. Come on. <sighs> yeah. Combat is sure is still janky, all right. I love when my fire just goes right through their head, too. That's also a cool mechanic. <laughs> That's still a thing. Yep. Well, I got bodied during that, didn't I? No, you can't shoot through obstacles. Whoa, thanks, kid. Just saved my life. You Harold? Yeah, that's me. Why? Were you searching for me? Don't worry. Dave told me to search for you. Are you all right? Did you get bitten? No, no. I'm totally fine. Everything's fine. We should talk later. Let's head back to the hideout for now. I think if you fire the ember just as they move, they walk over it, which is a uh, very annoying little 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 fun fact. Harold, God bless, you're all right. We're all so worried about you. We already expected the worst. I'm alive only thanks to this kid and his Quilava. But tell me, what happened? I blocked the city entrance in the south, just as you told me. That should prevent these beasts from getting here at least to an extent. Afterwards, I wanted to check the Pokemon gym and see if it'd make for a good shelter or not. Or even to find some more survivors who could have fled into the gym. But a lot of these beasts hunted me on my way there and I had to flee into the gym. Of course, they continued to follow me. But I was able to hide from them. Turn it back up a bit. Thanks to the maze that Whitney built there. These infected got confused by the maze? Correct. These monsters are unimaginably stupid. They only have one thing in mind, eating. They're very dangerous in large numbers. But it's very easy to trick them. Don't forget this. A single one is weak and no danger, but it's almost impossible to fight them in large numbers. But I can't thank you enough for getting me out there. What's your name? I'm Ethan. My Pokemon is called Brando. Again, thanks a lot, Ethan and Brando. I was wondering. What's the deal with those trucks you placed at the south entrance? Can't we use them to get out of the city? Impossible. Those trucks are trash. We could drive half a mile at best before the zombies would get us. All good vehicles. Even all Pokemon that could get us out of here are gone. We're trapped in this city for now. That's why we need a lot of useful resources from all around the city. But we need a backup as well. You saw what happens when you're alone on the streets. But there's hope. Maybe we could build some kind of boat or car, but we can't think of that just yet. I'm just happy you're all right, Harold. That's most important for now. Come to me when you have some news. I'll do that. I'll continue doing my best. Well then. Ethan, I have to thank you. I don't have anything I could give you for your troubles, but be sh yeah, be sure that I'll give you something back eventually. We're all working together, and we'll all try to survive this mess as much as possible, right? Yeah. But, Ethan, you and your cool lava are the only ones that can safely leave the bunker. So there's still work to do. Yeah. But there's no need to hurry. Take your time. Come to me when you're ready to go outside again. Okay, let's check... I took seven damage from that. Man, the combat in this game is just so janky. It's hard to, like, consistently keep hitting things. Ugh. Oh, well. I'll just have to hoard my resources. I still have five heals with Nurse Joy. She takes you back to full. So I'll save my first heal for when I'm really hurting for it. I'll hoard all of my healing items for the very end, because I might need it. You are done. I'm deeply grateful. Please, take this. Got a potion. Potion heals 10 HP of your Pokemon. I don't need this now that my cute bell sprout isn't here anymore. Hey, Ethan. Perfect timing. I need to help 
Need the help of you and your Quilava. What's so important? I lost my toolbox when I was running from the infected. If I knew where I've lost it, then I could tell you where it is. I have no idea. However, the bike shop of this city has a bunch of tools. And how should I get in there? I guess the bike shop is locked like every other building in this city. That's no problem. I've worked there in the past. I have a key. Here. Ethan received shop key from Harold. You can open the door with this. And you really need tools? If I were to repair something, then yes. But don't worry, Ethan. There aren't many infected on the streets right now. You should use this to your advantage. And I'll give you a reward for it. I'd love to give you your reward already because it will make things easier for you, but I need some time to prepare. I'm sure I can show it to you when you're back. This isn't urgent. Take your time. I'll talk to you when I get back. Okay. I'm safe to keep saving now. Just trash. Don't suppose there's an extra item I can pick up. There's some blankets, covers... Stored in the box. A normal radio. Do you think there's still someone sending? I don't. Someone threw some tattered books in here. Seems like Dave took a couple of things from the empty houses and put them here. Some old metal pieces. Wonder if they can still be used for something. Hey, my friend. Unfortunately, there's still a lot to do. But there may be hope for rescue. You think so? You have certainly noticed that the mobile phone network broke down. The reason for that is that the radio tower has no power. But we were able to get it back running again. The network is still off, though. If we can turn it back on, we can ask for military help. That would be, that'd be the rescue for us. I also have a Pokemon, uh, Pokecom with me. I could call Professor Elm. He may know, know more about this infection. What? You're from New Barktown and you know Professor Elm? Yes. I got my Brando from him as well. Great. The only problem, the mobile phone network needs to be restarted manually. We can't do anything from here. Ethan, I'm sorry to have to ask you for something like this again. But you need to get the radio tower running. I understand. I also want to know how my mother and my friend are doing. But I think the radio tower was pitch dark inside. Not anymore. We turned on the lights, so you should be able to see something. At least the emergency power should be on. That should suffice. That sounds promising. Okay. Brando and I will turn on the network and come back. I owe you a lot, Ethan. This is the first time I'm feeling hopeful that we can actually survive this. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget it. I just hope there's no bad surprise waiting. Oh, boy. All children just know how to turn on complicated machinery. I'm sad my bell sprout had to die, but I'm also relieved it doesn't have to suffer anymore. Okay. Now, what's this music? I can't remember. I feel like the meaties, or I'm pretty sure the meaties in this game are just kind of taken from a mishmash of, like, different horror games. Some from Resident Evil. I think there was even a Clock Tower one. Door unlocked. Ethan found a toolbox. These tools should be enough. Let's head back, Brando. Latest bicycle collection just standing around. But its use in an apocalypse is rather limited. That's the checkout of the shop. Hey, what's this? A note. With text on it. That looks like someone wrote it with blood? Gordo, uh... Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means. It's, uh... Is that a prayer someone wrote? Did they forget to translate that? Is that a prayer? No, I have no idea. Okay, it's Spanish. It's used in Apocalypse is limited. Toolbox here is empty. Guess Harold took these tools before he lost them. All right, well, someone wrote a... Uh-oh. Great. Okay, perfect. Someone was saying to swear. Yeah, see, I can't shoot Ember through the fence. 
Oh, he can hop the fence, though. That's cool. Oh, I gotta be careful. Okay, nice. Took him out without damage. It's best to take out any roamers in the cities, or city streets, because they don't respawn. The game just adds more over time, so you always want to get rid of them. Nothing else down here. Heck yeah. Not sure what track this is. Okay, next is Radio Tower. I could go back, though. Because Harold should have a reward for me. That's more important right now. He said it was something that could help me. Will it power me up? Hey, Harold. I'm back and I brought you this toolbox. The whole toolbox? Wow. Thank you, Ethan. Ethan gives Harold the toolbox. I really needed the tools. I'm sure they'll help us a lot. I'm glad I could help. Now, what's with the promised reward? Of course. A promise is a promise. I had to prepare myself until now. It took some time. You need to know. I was a passionate fire breather. I already saw the fighting style of Brando. I will teach your Pokemon a new technique. I can teach your Kualava Flamethrower. That sounds great. What do you think, Brando? Okay, this will take a moment. Come back later. Oh boy. So this just upgrades the attack power of uh, the fire projectile, I assume? Congratulations, Brando learned Flamethrower. Next to the normal PP bar, you can see a special PP bar. Once that is filled, Brando can use Flamethrower against enemies. You can use it by pressing 2. Enemies receive double damage and will get knocked back. Okay, so when the bar is full, I have a more powerful Flamethrower. That's good. Brando will continue to use Ember if it isn't filled. Thank you. This move will help us against our enemies. That's great, and the tools will help you us a lot as well. Use that old wood over there to build something nice. Ethan gave back the shop key to Harold. Okay, now let's make another save. I don't suppose that healed Brando. Nope. This is, isn't the same universe as Nightmare Invasion, but I think the, those two devs are friends. Yeah, if you want to see another similar spooky, like, RPG Maker Pokemon game, uh, look up Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. I did a stream of that. Uh, a few years ago, didn't I? It's a really good game. If not a bit also campy. Okay, radio tower time. People don't really make uh, spooky games like this anymore. Or Pokemon, anyway. The PC is off. The emergency power turned on the only important things. Hey! Don't move! What are you doing here? For F's sake, you scare me to death. Language, Ethan! Answer me, kid. What do you want here? Are you one of Team Rocket? Yes, I am. That's none of your business. You take one more step, I'm gonna kill you. Calm down! We don't want to take anything away from you. We just want to get the radio tower working again. So we can get help. Shut the F up, bro. The floors above us are filled with walking undead. It's bad enough the emergency power was turned on. I was hiding all the time down here in the dark, and that worked until now. And now you want to go up there and lure those horrible figures? No way. I won't let you risk my safety. But we have a safe shelter. We only want to get help. Uh-oh. Don't you want to understand, you little brat? Doesn't seem like it. I guess I have to kill you. You and your fucking Pokemon. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ah! My throat! I warned you. You're gonna die here. Bruh. Oh. Press enter. Or... Was that the enter key? Am I losing my mind? Keyboards don't look like that no more. Brando! S scratch Sounds like someone's speeding by outside. Oh my god, he, he almost killed me. Kill him, Brando.
Is he... dead? Did I just... a living human? Come, Brando. Let's go. Well. That was fun. Oh. More screams. Hang on. That was loud. This woman is dead. Blood dripping from her head. I think I'm about to throw up. It's like, some sound effects in this game are so much louder than anything else. Okay, there's the flamethrower. It takes quite a while for the bar to charge up. Hang on, let me get a drink while it just recharges. I'm Ethan. I'm a murderer. That scream scared you and you had headphones on? Sorry. I have the audio low specifically because of moments like that. Aw, oh, dude. Can't get him there. I got hit. Was it one damage? I think you can get HP ups. Okay. Let's have a look here. Pokemon music with host DJ Ben. The only, like, other... Mo um, there's a moment in, um, Nightmare Invasion that makes me laugh so hard. I think it's the part where he falls out of the building. That part is so good. Come on. Come on. I'm not taking any chances here. Okay, good. Got him. Is that Kurt? Oh, Kurt got his head ripped off. That's unfortunate. That Team Rocket member got split in half and is on the table. How's a Magnemite get infected when it's immune to poison? Good question. But I feel like there's a lot more questions you can ask about this. I love the random blood splatter on the Game Boy Color assets. That is so funny looking. Nothing else I can examine, so let's go. Nice. I had a flamethrower charge. You should have did that. And seems like something opened up. Director's office. Are you ready? Y'all better be comfy. Personally, I think the Clefas caused this. Uh-oh. Hang on, let me reset the room. Come on. Oh, dude. He okay, he's got random speed up. I hate when they do that. Okay, well, that's annoying. Darn it. You cannot, like, avoid all damage in this game. The combat is, is very... It's very weird sometimes. It's RPG Maker. I think it's RPG Maker 2003. Oh. Oh, jeez. This, this is a walkable tile right here, so I got panicked for a moment. Some weather reports. Nothing interesting. The body is torn in two halves. Oops. How cruel. Sometimes it forces the game to pause while it builds tension for some of the... Dialogue there. Studio 2. Is that a Clefairy? Oh, no. Let's walk over it. 18 o'clock news. The Homicide Division from Goldenrod City found out something new regarding the murder in the house of the married couple H. On February the 10th, the husband, W.H., strangled his wife with a rope and put her body into bed. The neighbors noticed that loud screams came from the house of Family H. They immediately called the police. Mr. H told the police that he found his wife in his bed sleeping and he didn't do anything to her. But DNA traces were found on the victim's neck and the rope. Mr. H is now in police custody. The criminal charges against him will start in a few weeks. Mr. H can properly stay home until then due to his heart disease. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. By the way, I should mention, uh, the dev of this game, Mr. Prinz, they actually do have a game on Steam, right? Um, it's called Sinners, and it's essentially like, you know, 
Game Boy style horror like this, but it, you know, without all the Pokemon to get claimed over, of course. I kind of wanted to give that game a try sometime. It's probably a good opportunity to work my way towards that. It's more recent, right? Came out in the last couple years. Was it good or not? I don't know anyone who's really played it. That should do. Now we can call for help. Let's get back to the hideout. Thank goodness the mobile phone network had a reconnect button. I know. There's a rat. Great. Okay. Nice. Just making sure it's dead. You never know what those Clefairies and Clefas could get up to, especially when they're dead. Wait, did that have a... Oh, I like how it has its own metallic noise for walking over it. I hate rats. Was that body there before? Killed him. I'm a murderer. Games like these are, are, are cool. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, combat is a little bit jank. Yeah, but I love the, like, the, the old charm of campy games like this, especially campy fan games. Like, I'm having a good time, but <laughs> I gotta conserve my resources. This is why I didn't play on hardcore mode. He's a zombie. What the fuck? He was infected? Okay, he's stuck on the box now. Oh, crap. I should just go. Oh, I can't leave? Oh, that's annoying. I guess I should just hit him. Come on. Oh, dude. Did you see it? It happened again. The fire went through him. Damn it, this is why you can't rely on the rain shots. He's finally dead. Was he bitten? I feel like it's somehow my fault that he mutated. Just want to get out of here as quickly as possible. That's for trying to strangle me, buddy. Okay, 6 HP. I have an antidote. Okay. Oh, great. Squirtles! Come on. Great. I gotta take her out. Come on. Okay, nice. Hang on, I wanna go back and save and clear out the rest of the town. Well, actually, to be fair, there's probably, like, um... Another quest to take on. I should get rewards and all that. I don't need to use the heal just yet. Not until I'm, like, down to, like, two or three, I feel. I get five free heals, and I'm saving all my items until absolutely at the very end. I hope some of the bosses aren't as jank. Dave, are you effing kidding me? What's the deal, Ethan? You lured me into a death trap. Admit it, you knew that and didn't tell me. Infected, corpses, blood everywhere, even a Team Rocket grunt. What? Ethan... I swear, I had no idea. Are you and your cool lava all right? Yes, and we got the tower back and running. I hope you're satisfied. You could have just, like, turned around and be like, oh, it's too dangerous. But no, Ethan had to go through it like a champ and so he could complain about it. Wait. Team Rocket? What is Team Rocket doing here in Goldenrod? It was just a single guy, someone who just... wanted to survive. Wanted? He... didn't make it. Oops! Did I do that? <laughs> okay, not important. But you turn the network in Goldenrod City back on. I'm sure your work will pay off. But Ethan, I'm truly sorry. I didn't know how bad it truly was there. I thought nobody would go into the radio tower while the power was out. Oh, F it. I just want to know how things are in Newbark City. Newbark City? You mean Newbark Town? Or is it a city now? Ethan keeps swearing now. He's become a swear bear. Be careful. He's not a wholesome teddy no more. I should call him right now. Can I do that? Hang on. Poke gear. Opponent is not attainable. Please try again later. Can I call mom? 
Oh, no. Call them. Okay. That's such a loud stock sound effect for the phone. I'm turning... Yeah, I need to turn this down for you guys. Holy moly. Jeez. What's going on? Spooky. That was a long phone number, you're telling me. Hello? Professor Elm here. Who was there? Professor, it's me, Ethan. Ethan, how are you doing? Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Everything is fine. God bless, I'm so relieved. All right. What's going on in New Bark? How's my mom doing? And is Krista with you? Your mother's all right. Don't worry. Everybody in New Bark Town is unharmed. But, fortunately, Krista began her journey a couple days ago. I haven't heard back from her since then. Oh, God. Listen, Ethan. The phone network is dead in most of Johto. I tried calling you hours ago. I own the only working emergency phone. I don't think you'll be able to call anyone else. Does this mean th this infection broke out in all of Johto? I I guess. Where are you right now? Do you have a safe a uh, safe shelter? I think they meant. Yes, I'm in Goldenrod in an underground bunker. Holy crap! The audio is picking up here. The mixing is so all over the place. The city is filled with infected. We're working together to find a way of escaping before it becomes even more dangerous. Do you have any idea on how we could get out of here? Do you have any Pokemon left that you could help us with? I'm sorry, Ethan. I am as powerless as you are. Once people started to learn about this apocalypse and the undead, most of them gathered all their Pokemon off the storage system and tried to flee. I mean, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd do that too. The people were very obsessed with flying or water-type Pokemon. With those, don't forget about Golurk. You can fly on that too. With those, it's easier to be on the move all the time and keep a distance. But a lot of them forgot that even a Pokemon has to sleep and eat. This method killed a lot of trainers. Wait, what? I have no Pokemon left here. That could be of any help to you. Oh no. Is there no other possibility? Not even one? As I've said, my hands are tied. I'm sorry, Ethan. But it's great that you found a safe shelter. You should be safe. For now. Professor, do you know what's happening? Where did these un undead came come from? Do you know how all of this came to be? No, I don't have any informations regarding this. What this infection is and where it came from, I have no idea. Do you know if there's any hope for a cure? There was no official statement about this, but I'm delving deeply with the DNA of these beasts. I sent my assistant a couple hours ago to bring me a cadaver of one of the undead. He should be back soon. Maybe I can find a way to stop this infection. Why do I get the feeling that's not going to work out? Tell me, Ethan. How's your Pokemon doing? Wallaba. Brando? It's doing great. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, we're fighting these undead together. I have trained it well. You're fighting them? Ethan, you should be very careful with this. Every living creature that gets bitten by one of these undeads will become undead as well. Interestingly, I found out that some of these undeads can keep a part of their memory from when they were alive. This means that some humans or Pokemons can faintly remember who or what they once were. I've already seen infected Pokemon using some of their attacks. Nonetheless, they're still dangerous beasts trying to eat living meat, with or without their memories. We will be careful, promised. But we couldn't have called you if Brando and I hadn't turned on the radio tower. Uh-oh. No, Professor Elm! Watch out! Fair enough, if it secures your survival. Ethan? Something very important. Only a few seem to know this. Everybody! Really, every single human in every... S <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, that's the sound of Leon getting bitten Resident Evil 2. I think that's his death sound. It definitely was. 
You'd hear that RE2, like, zombie shuffle. Professor? Professor? What happened there? That didn't sound good. Oh my god. I hope he's alright. I can't believe Professor Elm is dead. Well, time to get back to work. I am sure we will survive this. Everything will turn out good in the end. <laughs> Gen 2 is over. I'm sorry, this is so funny. How are you doing, Ethan? Be careful, okay? Hello, Ethan. I already have a new project in mind. Ah, just wait for it. It's trash. Okay, we can always make a save. If I get killed, I can just reload. I just want to keep the Nurse Joy's heals, like, as bestly spaced out as I can. And? How was it? How'd it go? What did the professor tell you? He said he can't help us. He also died. He doesn't know where this infection is coming from. He wanted to tell me something important before the end of the call, but the connection died. I think something happened, but I don't know what. Oh, shit! I didn't expect that! Shit, really? Ethan! I'm so sorry. But it seems like we have to secure our survival here for another while. We can't give up now. Just listen. We're not giving up. Come to me later. We'll see what we can do. Watch your mouth, Dave. I want to be able to upload this. This is Resident Evil 1 save. Oh, hang on a second. I think I remember there's a jump scare that's about to happen. Ordinarily, I wouldn't spoil stuff, but uh, uh, jump scares are fair game. So I'm going to turn it down and y'all can mentally prepare yourself. This rocket guy. Did I have to kill him? Yes. Yes. What was going on with me? I was so obsessed with killing him. He was a living human. That isn't me. What happened there? I need to get my thoughts back in order. I can't skip this text. It really does scroll this slowly. I can't allow myself to become a person I don't want to be. I can't forget who I am and what I want to be. I am Ethan. I want to become a Pokemon master. But can such a dream still come true in a world like this? What if this world will stay like this? I just hope that won't happen. His thoughts are getting more slow. Oh, no jump scare? Did they take that out? Okay, I can turn it back up. I remember in the original version, there's a part where, like, Ethan's sleeping, and all of a sudden you get jump scared by a close-up shot of the, the first zombie in uh, Resident Evil Remake. You know, the bald zombie. They just kind of take a JPEG of it and put it on screen. How are you doing, Ethan? Be careful, okay? Hello, Ethan. I already got a new project in mind. Ha! Just wait for it. Okay, nothing new here, so let's do this. F, Ethan. Just in time. We have a big... Bro, I can't swear that much anymore, okay? <laughs> you gotta let me have... I gotta... I gotta keep the roof over my head now, man. <laughs> what happened? When I was taking a walk through Goldenrod, I saw something on Route 35 that will definitely cause us problems. You won't believe it, but there's a big infected Venusaur walking directly towards Goldenrod City. It's so big, it could probably climb over the north entrance to Goldenrod City. We're all doomed if we aren't doing anything about this. Can't we do anything to stop it? With a creature this big? No. I really feel bad for asking you for the- Bro, all you do is apologize. Are you Canadian? I think he's Canadian. I really feel bad for asking you for this, but... You have to kill it. Mm, sorry, only you can do it, child. Like, um... I can't do anything else. I'm just gonna sit here. A Venusaur. Are you stupid? Think. Venusaur is a plant type. Oh, you're not- You're definitely not a trainer. And zombies are already weak against fire due to their decay. 
Plant-type zombie shouldn't be hard to kill, even a Venusaur. Ethan, you must kill it so we can survive. You sure there's no other way? Absolutely sure. All right. If it's the only way. Come to me when you're prepared. I love how <laughs> the jarring difference in art style it is when it shifts between Dave's face and Ethan's face. <laughs> Are you all having a good time? I'm having a good time. This is fun. So, can I take no more qu side quests? Okay. It might be... This is a boss fight. It might be wise to uh, heal now, but I should see if I can beat the, the boss without healing, because that would be the best way to save resources for sure. Are you prepared to beat this gigantic Venusaur? Now, I remember the boss fights were infuriatingly janky in these games, but I was also, like, trying to do it with keyboard, with weird key bindings, because, like... I don't know, it feels weird to use 1 and 2 as my, instead of like Z and X. <laughs> a little bit of a pet peeve there. But I have a controller set up, so I should be more easily able to do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. We can go. Heck yeah, you're all having fun. We're all gathered around the campfire like good bears, ready for a spooky story. Okay, that's a party sprite. This thing is gigantic. Brando. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Quilava, lava, qua, quilava. Okay, I'll take cover so I don't stand in your way. You can fully focus on the fight. Whoa! Oh, hang on a second. Oh, what is this rock music? I'm gonna turn it down just in case. Hang on. Um, I think I should just charge up, charge up flamethrower. Let me do that. Okay. Just play it safe. Oops. Oops. Darn it, he didn't turn fast enough. Oh no, I gotta be all the way at the top for this to work. Okay, no problem. If I can just conserve my health, this is- Oh, did he hit me? Okay, he didn't. Um. Ah, he got- he hit me. Oh, wait, no. I walked over it. I'm the one that got the projectile glitch this time. Okay. We're good. Good. I have no idea where this music is from, but I better keep it low or, I'm, or the whole va is going to get claimed. Let's go. Oof. I thought it was safe, but I got hit at the end. No problem. That was still a good fight. What luck. It's finally dead. The cadaver now blocks the exit from Goldenrod. Is there... Oh, there's a death beep. Of course there is. Oh. Now that I think about it, this might not actually be that bad. Hold up. Oh, he did three damage on one hit? Oh, I got lucky. That was the only hit I took. Okay. Well, I kept the audio low. Can you guys... You guys could barely hear the music, right? I hope so. I hope so. I'm pretty sure I talked over enough of it anyway. Still one. Now, is there anything down here to beat up? I think I'm going to have to use my first Nurse Joy heal after that. I could barely hear the sound effects. Good. Good. Because, again, it seems like the creator took a lot of music from a lot of places. Okay. So, I'm just trying to play it safe. Looks like we're done. It's good to keep it low right now because there's a death beat playing. There's just barely music sometimes, and then sometimes you hear a scream sound effect, and then bam, your ear drums are, bro are broken. Oh. Oh, there's an old man there now. Let me turn this back up a bit. Vulpix, Vulpix. Oh, a new face. Hello. Good evening, young boy. If I'm allowed to introduce myself, my name is Albert. And Dave brought me here just now. You could say he saved my life. I'm sure you're Ethan, right? Dave was praising you for all you've done to the, for the group. And I've only heard good things about Martha as well. Well, uh, yeah. No false modesty. I can see you have a Pokemon with you. A Vulpix. It's a pretty strong Pokemon. We could work together. I'm afraid that's not poss possible, Ethan. We only attended beauty contests. 
It's a very weak, it's very weak, unfortunately. If I had known what misery was coming, I would have trained it. I would have been too good to be true. Whatever. Ethan, before you go, I have something for you. Come back to me when you have time for it. Hey, young boy. I remembered something. When I fled from my place together with Dave, I forgot something important. I left my radio module at my home. You have a Poke gear, right? Yes. But what use does that have? There are no survivors in the radio tower. And besides, there's a radio over there next to the beds. The radio over there is just a normal radio from the electronic store, but that doesn't help us a lot. But, if we install the radio module, we could get some more information about this disease. Maybe the military or the disease control center sends something about that disease. And maybe there's a place for survivors. Maybe even a cure. At least I hope so. Hope dies last, young boy, right? I'll get the radio module. It's a good chance we can't let it slip. Wonderful. I believe this is all. Or as well. Here, you need this to get into my house. House key from Albert. It's near the bike shop. You can't miss it. Be careful. I have developed a small... Let's call it security system. It was initially thought as something that confuses thieves so they don't steal anything. You have to know, I'm a passionate master of enigmas. But you're smart enough to figure out the solution. Got it. I'll get your module. Trying to reach someone from the outside is worth trying. Okay. Let's do that. I think I can go without healing. Okay, music's super low here. If I'm not mistaken, I think this unlocks the radio feature for the Poke Gear, and I can't use that because I'm pretty sure, like, um, it just plays, like, more vocal songs if you turn it on, so we're not gonna use it. Door unlocked. Here we are. Albert's house. Who sets their house up like this to confuse intruders? That's what he meant by security system. But it looks like these stones are fake. I should be able to move them. Okay. Oh, just bump into them to cause it, huh? Alrighty then. Hmm. Oops. Well, that's not good. I'm just bumping into them, unfortunately. It just made it not work. There we go. Still saved it. Found the radio module. I like how that item sound is like ten times louder than the music. We should bring it back to Albert. He surely knows how to use the radio module. Okay, nothing else to pick up, right? Nope, nothing on the plants. Oops. I keep accidentally pushing the boulders just by facing them. A beautiful image of a field. I'm sure you can't pick up a TV signal here. Different books with crossword puzzles. Different books with crossword puzzles. Normal radio. Do you think there's someone still sending? I don't. No windows to open and close over and over. Okay. No, you're thinking of the right game here, Kuda. Don't worry. I hear that death beep. This background music is way louder than the other tracks that can play in the overworld. You found it. Very good, my boy. Now let's see if the military or the disease control center are sending anything. I get the feeling it's not going to work out that easily. Bad news. Nobody's sending anything. But... Somebody has to be doing something against this disease. But... It seemed like it. I was so certain the government wouldn't let us down. And now... This. No police. No military. No disease control. That could help us. Nobody. We're completely on our own. I'm sorry for sending you out there to get this. The radio module is useless if nobody is sending. But it has an integrated music player. I have no use for it. You can have it. Yeah, I'm never gonna use that. <laughs> the music player is now installed in the Poke Gear. Simply open the Poke Gear and select the music icon. That gives you a good diversion every now and then. But right now, there's only one song on it. 
There are songs scattered all around Goldenrod City, so you can which you can collect. They will be added to your music player automatically. You should also visit the places you've already been to. Maybe you'll find a song or two. Thank you. A bit of music will calm me down for sure. Not me. How you doing, Ethan? Be careful. That's a new lad down here. Hi. You're a Pokemon trainer, Ethan, right? Yeah, that's me. Dave told you about me, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Rescuer of all of us. He said you're taking care of the roamers. My name's Klaus, by the way. Before this disease broke out, I was a police officer working at the DCPE-31 department. So much is obvious, you can tell by the uniform. Yeah. I knew Goldenrod long before the outbreak. It's scary how fast everything changed. I was working on the first couple of infections. As if we didn't have to do more than enough with Team Rocket. The disease came on top of this. In all of Goldenrod City, these cruel murders began. Until we realized that you get infected through bites. Then, everything fell apart and everyone survived on their own. Cruel. The things I've seen, roamers that ate living humans and Pokemon, nobody should have to see that. I'm talking too much. Anyway, I as an experienced officer will do everything in my power to help you. I just had my pistol. Hey, maybe you can help me with something. I have something to do for you. Come to me again if you have some time. Hey, you two. I could help you kill some of these roamers. That would be awesome. Rando and I need any help we can get. I can't do anything as long as I don't have my pistol. Beating the roamers melee? No chance. They turn me into dead meat in mere seconds. Those bastards would be happy about it. No way. Listen. It's one of the survivors that hid in the game corner. That was days ago. I don't think they're alive anymore. But when I noticed that the infection was reaching the game corner, I fled immediately. I took the key, ran outside, and locked the door behind me. I had... no other choice. Either me or them. It was horrendous. These... cries. I... I can't forget them. I... I'm so sorry for all the humans that were still in there. Who says humans in that context? That sounds weird. In such a world, we all make mistakes sooner or later. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I could have saved them. Maybe you could have left the door open so they could leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. I digressed. This is about the present now. Ah, oh, so to make it short and clear. My pistol's in the game corner. You need to get it and bring it to me. When I have my pistol, I can shoot some of these stink heads. What do you think? Sounds like a good idea. We'll go get it. I'm sure we can pass by the game corner and bring it to you. Before I forget, here. Okay. You can unlock the game corner's door with this. The last time I passed, I didn't hear a sound, but be careful. Am I still good? If it's regular zombies, I should be able to take an extra hit or two and heal with joy when I get back. So let's keep conserving resources and do that. Let's do our best. Oh, wait. That must be a song. Song 2 of 6 unlocked. I'm not, I can't play them. <laughs> Moonscape Lunar View received. I don't know what band that is, but uh, yeah, we can't play it. There's a very muted death beep that might be annoying, but I'm pretty sure I hear it more than you guys. Let's see if there's any more roamers out and about. There's a song there. It's closed. The owner's probably fled. Okay, there's nothing else down here. Okay. No other zombies I have to worry about sneaking up on me. Door unlocked. You guys ready? Whoa. They're all dead. It's a Team Rocket member. I... Oh! That startled me. Okay. This is a good setup. I should be able to hit him if he walks into the choke point. If if he walks... There we go. Okay. Looks like it's safe. Now let's find that pistol. I see it up there. Oh! Nice! An extra berry. 
We definitely want that. Check more things. Ethan found the pistol. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, that's a lot of them, actually. Hang on. Oh, dude. Yeah, I don't need to fight these. Oh, good, it actually lets me leave. I have no reason to go back in there, so no reason to bother fighting them. Like, they literally have randomized movement. It's very possible to get just impossible, like, patterns that you can't dodge. Okay, now I should use the Nurse Joy heal. I mean, I found a berry, too. We're having... Hang on, what do I have? First, let me just save in case I actually hit the wrong button. Okay. Three berries, that's 15 HP, so 25 HP worth of heals on me. I brought it with you? Perfect. Pistol it even is fully loaded. Looks like it wasn't used. Whatever. Time to kill some monsters. Uh Okay. He went and went he went to go pop pop out there. But there weren't even any zombies walking around. I was outside. Man, these beasts are getting more brutal. I almost used my entire magazine. I could kill a lot of the roamers, so you will meet fewer of them. I was able to hurt some of them. It should be easier for you to finish them off now. So does that I think that means the next zombie with spawn and on the outside will um the next zombie spawn will have, like, less HP or less zombies. I'm not quite sure how this works. Whatever. That helps us a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that was all I could do for you. Good luck, you two. Ethan? Come to me, please, when you have spare time. Hello, boy. You need to do something important for me. It's really important. Before this catastrophe... My husband and I ran the Pokemon daycare. Many young trainers came to us so we would raise their Pokemon. Those were wonderful times. Oh, I'm sorry. I digressed again. But I just remembered there's a Pokemon egg at the daycare. I can't remember which Pokemon was in the egg. If it's water or flying type, that could be our ticket out of the city. Possible. But that doesn't matter for now. It's a living being that still hasn't been born. And it's not fair that it's in such great danger. Could you bring the egg to me, please? I'll, I will get you the egg. I'll do it. I'll get the egg, Martha. That's great. Thank you, my boy. Here. I'll give you the key. You can find the daycare on Route 34. The egg should, uh, should sit on a pillow. Just take it and bring it here. Shaking the egg could cause it to break, and the Pokemon couldn't survive that. I'll be extra careful. Okay, we want to do this right. Okay. Let's take a heal. Your Quilava's fully healed. Come back anytime. New wardrobe. I should ask Harold, Harold about it. No, hang on. 20 HP. Good to save now. Hey, Ethan. Just had to try out the tools, so I built this wardrobe out of the old wood. Hey, that's cool, but, um, what do I do with this? Well, you could collect outfits in it, I guess. Oh, is this a new feature? Uh, when she hit the fan, a lot of people left their stuff behind due to the panic. You could find pieces of clothing all around the city and store them in the wardrobe, and you can change your outfit here all the time. I mean, wouldn't be bad to change clothes. Um... Excuse me? What do you mean by that? Well, um, yeah, Pokemon trainers are traveling day and night, and I always wondered why they, when they change their underpants, from a hygienic standpoint. Well, so, I'm changing my underpants regularly, but I guess the wardrobe is useful anyways. Thanks. New clothes would give me some variety. You're welcome. I wanted to build something anyway. Take care of yourself. Okay, then. Okay. Time for the daycare. Harold is trying not to tell me I smell. You are a smelly child. 
It looks like nobody's wandering. I wonder if the new outfit is just hanging around inside here. I don't see anything. Just wanted to poke my head in. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a song, right? I don't care about that. I literally can't play them. That's a new outfit. Just a sprite change, probably. Door unlocked. This is... The Resident Evil 4 save theme as a meaty. Song 3 of 6 unlocked. Oh. That's, uh, the title said Mr. Prinz. I guess it's an original song by them. I still probably shouldn't play it just in case. That's the name of the dev, by the way. I think that's the body of her husband. Uh-oh! Nothing here. Pick up anything we can. Nothing here, it seems. Received egg. Com uh, collection completion may affect the ending. Oh, is that what it does? So I should pick stuff up. Okay. God bless. The egg isn't damaged. Nonetheless, I need to be careful. I can't let it break. Or it was all for nothing. Oh. Okay, three. Okay. You all saw the fire go through it, right? I just want to... You all saw it. I'm not just losing my mind. <laughs> it's really happening. Okay. I can't save in here, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, that's good. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and say hello to our little friend, Oddish, why don't we? Come on. Okay, flamethrower and an ember, take it out. Hollywag, uh-oh. Oh, come on. Nice. It's best to pick them off one-on-one. -on -one. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay, two hits, and looks like there's another one up here. I think maybe Klaus's uh, shots, like, lower their HP. They seem to die a little faster now, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, let me go ahead and get that one song. If completion, like, uh, affects things, we should bring the egg back. Yeah, we should do that. Oh, boy. No hits taken. You found the egg. Wonderful. You must know, a young life like a young life uh, like that has to be protected. Blah. Thank you too. Thanks to you, another life was saved. Here, Dave just found this. Your Kolaba surely has a use for it. Brando, HP up. Max HP is raised to twenty-five. Lava, 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 Kolaba. I will take care of the egg for now. Ethan gave the daycare. Key back to Martha. Okay. So okay, it doesn't fully heal when I when I use it. Darn. I could have pushed on ahead and used up my first nurse joy heal with that, but too little too late. This is still fine. That just means the next one will heal even more. Okay. Before any I go back out, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh pick up the thing in the Clefairy gym. In case it won't let me back in there later. I don't remember how ending stuff works in this. Is it completion percent or is it like a choice at the end? You should probably remind me, my nerd, if you know. Okay, song four or six. Because how I think how it works is that um Like there's just an ex just a couple extra scenes depending on what you do. I think it is just a choice at the end. It's literally been more than half a decade since I've played, so I don't know. I should probably check the radio tower again. 
Because there's probably a song that popped in somewhere. I wonder if I could pick up an extra berry or something along the way, too. Nothing over there. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Were you here before? That body wasn't in that spot, was it? I don't even know. I hope something doesn't appear when I pick it up. Five to six unlocked. Uh, Bean, Build, and Mr. Prince. However you say that. Okay. As long as y'all are having a comfy time, I'm having a good time, too. How long have I been going? Hmm. I want to say I'm about halfway through the game. Is there any other buildings open? I should double-check these, to be honest. Yeah, bodies move when the map's reloaded. Let's just kind of put... Wait, what? what's that up there? You see that? Oh, I thought that was a body. It was just one of those little, like, uh, Gen 1 fence post things. Hmm. Nothing in here. Okay, I've checked everything available to me right now. So I guess I should go back and do another quest. Games like these are comfy to watch, for sure. <laughs> can be a little frustrating to play, especially when your fire goes through an enemy. Yes, I will get mad about that, because it's silly. Now, talk to all the NPCs. I guess Dave again. How'd it go, Ethan? Could you beat it? Yeah, we were able to kill it. Oh, he's talking about the Venusaur. The corpse of the Venusaur lies in front of the north entrance. I guess that entrance is blocked for now. Great. Really great. We owe you a lot. It's all right, really. It was all for our safety. Yeah, but don't forget that we're not taking for granted what you're doing for us. It's okay. Hey, did you see? I brought some new survivors into the hideout. This gentleman at the table was locked in his house for days. He would have starved to death if I didn't get him out of there in time. And this police officer came from the biggest survival group that hid in the game corner. A couple days ago, I met someone from his group on the street. That guy was shady. Maybe that's why an officer isn't part of that group anymore. He wandered around the streets aimlessly. He got lucky that I found him before the zombies did, but... Whatever. You should talk to them. Maybe they can help you. You should talk to Harold as well. He prepared a little surprise for you. Yeah, I saw the wardrobe. I think it's great to have something like this in the hideout. Great. We can talk about the next topic then. Hello, friend. Welcome. Uh, looks like there's five outfits total. I only have access to one. I guess it's just a sprite swap. Kind of weird that they put that in, but okay. Normal radio. Anything else with you guys? You and your Koalaba. You're a great team. We can't rely on others' help, unfortunately. We have to act ourselves. How are you doing, Ethan? Be careful. Okay. Hold up. What about the stuff in the corner here? Survivor group stores food in here. Who needs to do the dishes? Not me. Normal stove. At least we can eat warm food. What's next? Story stuff. Hey, buddy. Our options of leaving this city are shrinking. But there is one thing we haven't tried yet. Do you know the high-speed train in Goldenrod City? No? Doesn't matter anyway. That piece of junk isn't working. A great mechanic, Harold, could get it work to work again. Thanks to the tools you brought him. I knew we'd need them soon. Whatever. If we can get the train working again, we can leave this crumbling city. Why didn't we think about using the train earlier? Well, the underground there is filled with infected. Getting through there is no easy task. But it seems like we don't have a choice. The high-speed train. That could work. A safe way of getting uh, far away from here. That sounds promising. Ha! Glad you like the plan. Harold unlocked the door to the train station. The train station is next to the radio tower. Go to him. He's already waiting for you. Yeah, I think we should go to Saffron City. I'm sure nothing bad is happening there right now. I'll tell you what to do. All right. Uh, where did Harold go? Oh, did he say he went? He already left. Harold is waiting at the train station. Okay. 
I thought he said I need to go there with him. Well, let's make a save. Let's go. To the top. Spooky music. Spooky little music. Like dolls are gonna get us. Is it darker out here now? I think it is. Let's have a look. Perfect timing, Ethan. We want to use the Magna Train. We have to restore the power first. We have to repair the electricity. But to get there, you have to clear a way for, uh, for me through the walkers. If we managed to reactivate the train, we could escape from Goldenrod City and head for Kanto. Just walk across the platform across the wooden plank and head to the right. That's the true station underground. The electricity box should be at the end of the hallway. The hallway is very long and there's another problem. The underground is filled with walkers. There's a lot of infected Pokemon here too. I've seen one of those infected Pokemon use their attacks. Be careful, there are some poison type Pokemon as well. I'll try to attack you with some poison attacks. It won't cause an infection, but your Quilava might get poisoned after. If Brando is poisoned, it will lose HP over time. Here, take this. I hope you won't need it. Got an antidote from Harold. Run out of antidote, Nurse Joy can help you. Don't worry, poison won't kill your Pokemon. It vanishes at low HP. One more thing, there are other infected Pokemon whose attacks can confuse Brando. Brando's confused, he'll walk around uncontrollably. That's exactly what I want to happen in this game. It'll go away after some time. Good luck. I'll wait here and come once you're at the electricity box. Well then, everybody get cozy. This is gonna be fun. Empty. Okay, good. One down. Hang on, am I allowed to save outside here? I am. Okay, good. I can't save in places like this, by the way. Okay, body went back. Hey, it's a shiny Zubat. Nice, it's dead now. Hmm. Team Rocket Grunts are down here. Causing trouble. Ah, damn it. We missed. Okay, three are dead and I haven't taken damage. I'm just gonna pop in and make a save. Let's keep going. Things are getting spooky. They've always been spooky. Can't you see those, like, uh, blood stains just kind of scattered around? Nothing there. Nice. I was really worried about that. This would be the perfect spot to reload if things go astray. Everything is so squishy. Oh, come on! Again? It went right through her after I... That was clearly a direct hit. No, that's not ketchup. No one's... No one's spilling strawberry jam. Or as far as YouTube needs to know, uh... Yeah, it is strawberry jam. It's a Pokemon game. What else would it be? Blood? That'd be silly. In Pokemon... I don't think so. Grimer! It's also shiny. Oh, nice, I got it. Oops. I could go back and save. I haven't taken any hits so far. God, what if there's a boss at the end of this? Come on. Turn. You silly. Okay, gotcha. I might be done. Okay, there's a Grimer. I gotta keep my distance from it for sure. Kind of spits at random intervals. Great. 
Wait, what? Oh, what? How, how, how did that happen? He got stuck. Oh, dude, what the hell? <sighs> how did I do that? Oh, this is a problem. I can't. He's not gonna walk down. I think he won't go over here because he's tracking Ethan, not not me. Okay, here we go. Okay, I killed him. Dude, I've taken no damage. I'm playing it safe. I need to go back. Is, are we, is this the end or there's more enemies? Because I feel like I really should just go like back and save since I haven't taken a single hit. Okay, that's just a regular zombie. He's not a threat. He can't fire anything at me. Oh, man, I don't want to walk all the way back, though. No! Oh, I got separated from Ethan again. Okay. Oh, the game remembers their he remembers their health. I thought they reset to, like, full HP or something. This is good. Um... I can just, um, reset the rooms over and over to pick them off. That is a good, good knowledge. What does that say? Oh, I- th does that say Jack Blue was here? It does, doesn't it? Jack Blue is here. That's a night- uh, Pokemon Nightmare Invasion reference. That- that Jack Blue is the protagonist. Again, you should watch that. Give me more views and also watch more spooky games. That game is a trip. Dude! Oh, d should I go back? Do I go back or am I almost done? I feel like I'm almost done. I should just keep going. Oh, man. This is tense. Blue outfit. That looks like a boss arena. Yeah, I'm going back to save. I'm I'm going I think I know what that is. I think I know what that is. I think that's a part that caused me to rage. I am going back to save for sure. It's actually very late for me right now. I usually don't stream at this hour, but I was actually super sick last night and um I woke up late because of that. Oh, boy. It's fine. I'm actually controlling Quilava when I'm in the field like this, yeah. It is a very, very long path. A whole ass dungeon. Let's go, go, go. Ah, we're good. We're fine. Don't worry. It's pretty impressive that I didn't take a hit. Like, I'm definitely getting a feel for the combat again. Oh, this is the end. Okay. Let's start saving on three. Now we gotta go all the way back. It's long on purpose, specifically for you to try and do this. It's gotta be. I'm not gonna go all the way back to switch outfits, no. That's way too far back. Let's go, go, go. We got this. We can do this. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the spooky Pokemon playthroughs. I love spooky RPG Maker games a lot. Sadly, there's just not really a whole lot of them, the, a lot of them these days. Every once in a while, one comes along, and I will get to play it, but, you know. I think in more recent months, uh, I got to play, like, the Pocket Mirror remake. That was another game that I played, like, the very start of, like, my Let's Play career. So it was very fun to go through that again. I can't save out here now, can I? Yeah. Walk of shame if I lose. Okay, get your big boy pants on. Get your big bears out. Wait. I could walk through that. Psst. Ethan. Hmm? Oh, 
Oh, it's you. My heart just missed a beat. Sorry, the electricity box should be at the end of this hallway. Sounds good. Brando and I will lead you there. Oh, gee, Willikers, I wonder what's about to happen in this scene. Just stay close to us. Okay. All right. Then let's... <laughs> no! Not Harold! That was a very loud scream. Oh, oh, oh! Shit, how did you find me? Brando, quick! Attack! Harold. What? You. You. He got bitten. He... He hit my upper arm. Yeah. Oh! Stop saying bad words, you're scaring the bears! Listen, it's not like that. I'm not infected. I mean, maybe I'm not, right? Everything's alright, okay? Oh, it hurts. I didn't come that far to die here. Nothing happened here, all right? Everything is okay, yeah? Everything is okay. We keep doing our work. Let's check this electricity box now. Okay. Not Harold. Not Harold! I was so attached to him. There it is. Let's see what's wrong with that crap. Huh? What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Someone else was here. The train. This is not gonna work, I mean. Someone was here and destroyed the whole effing electricity. I don't have that electrical pieces to repair it. Ugh! So, what now? I don't know! I'm so... <laughs> Language! I'm so effing angry right now. Nothing is working. Nothing. And my arm feels like it's burning. <laughs> We're done here. Nothing to do here. Let's get back to the hideout. Uh-oh. How will the others react to due to his bitten arm? I think there's a choice coming up. Uh, I think they forgot to translate that line. That looked like it was still in German, if I'm not mistaken. Can I save here? Oh my god, I was al I'm allowed to save here. Oh, that makes me so mad. I went all the way back for nothing. Okay. It says only trash in German. Okay. Go ahead. Maybe there's some other monsters left. I remember this part. Let's see if I can do it. What? No. That's not possible. Hey, isn't that... What are you doing here? Whitney, the gym leader. I thought she fled. Tell me, what are you doing here? Hey, uh, keep calm. We are survivors, like you. We wanted to restore the electricity to start up the train. So we could flee Goldenrod City. Well, that plan is dead. Someone damaged the electricity box. Exactly. I did that. I won't allow you to start up the train. You fucking insane. That train's our only hope. He's right. What's your problem with us wanting to use the train? You want it the hard way? All right. Okay, you're just not going to explain anything. What is she up for? Your last chance to get out of here. Ethan, that bitch has become crazy. You know what? We should get rid of her. I mean, she won't let us escape. We're all gonna die because of her. Either we will die, or she will. What? No! Are you insane? She's a human being. I can't. Maybe she's just scared or stressed at the situation. We all have hard times. Okay, you really wanted that way. Mill tank, it's your turn. Good lord. Mill tank, mill tank. And here's a crusty meeting of this. Hang on, let me turn it down, it's loud. 
Okay. Mill tank, mill tank. Seems like we have no choice. Brando, go. Oh, lava. Oh, boy. Oh, let's me save. Oh, I don't think there was a, a save here before, was there? Well, good that now there is. Okay. Now let's be careful and not get rolled over by the cow. Get away from it, get away from it. Ooh. Come on. No. No! Come on. Damn it. Come on. Damn it. Time is poor. Come on. You can do this. Go, go, go. Crap. Try to go for a single scratch. Come on. Is this a, is this a horror game? Yes, it is. I'm finding Whitney's mill tank in the zombie apocalypse. If I don't win, we all die. Trying to avoid damage. Ah! And I failed. Come on. Nice. Come on. One more. Ah. Okay, I first tried it. Holy crap, I remember that took me like an eternity on the original version. Mill tank, come back. Oh boy. Turn it back up now. You were lucky this time. This is not Whitney's personality. Shouldn't she be crying? I hope that was the last time we have seen her. Now let's go back. I think I deserve a badge, that's right. And there was nothing you can do. The electronics were damaged this badly. Gym leader Whitney caused the damage. She's gone completely crazy. Ethan could get rid of her, but that didn't fix anything. The only thing we could do was trying to find electronic parts and repair it. I see. Hey, Harold. What happened to your arm? Uh, my arm? That looks like a bite mark. Tell me. You got my upper arm. But uh, I'm feeling good. Promise. Maybe I'm immune or whatever. But you're sweating. Your body temperature seems to be higher than normal. I I'm okay. Trust me. Harold, you know we can't take the risk of having an infected in the safe shelter. Yeah, but I, I don't have to be infected. Maybe only some people get infected. As if you are believing that yourself. I'm sorry, Harold. We can't make exceptions. What do you mean by no exceptions? You really want to kill me? What else are we supposed to do? You bastards. Ethan, after him. Hang on. I don't think this affects the ending, does it? I, d I don't think it does. Harold, don't move. Now. Why? So you guys can kill me more easily? <laughs> Screw you. All of you. C calm down, you two. I'm sure there's a solution. There isn't. The only solution is killing him before he becomes dangerous. Okay, I'm pretty sure you just spare him, right? If it does affect the ending, that's the good result. I wanted to solve this peacefully at first, but you don't leave us a choice if you react like that. You guys have lost your minds. I'm human and not a danger. Well... You aren't a danger now, but once you mutated, then you are one. This is about the safety of us, of all of us. But I already told you, I'm feeling fine. I'm sure I'm not infected. I don't think so. 
I can see it in your eyes that you're not okay. That's because I was on the road with Ethan. Nothing else. Yeah, of course. That's obviously the reason. Who are you trying to fool? Dave's right. You don't look healthy. Even to the untrained eye. But, Dave, Harold has helped us a lot. Killing him after all of this would be beastly. Maybe he earned it to choose his own death, Ethan. I know that's well-intentioned, but ri the risk is too high. What if he mutates and tries to ambush us? We could all die just because we let him live. Ethan, kill him before he endangers all of us. Ethan, please, let me leave. I just want to be alone. Please, let me be alone. Spare, Harold. Harold, run as fast as you can. I can't kill someone who helped us so many times. I'm sorry, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ethan. Well, I'm gone. Ethan, you idiot! Haven't you learned about setting priorities after everything you've seen so far? Who shat into your brain? My god. I get back in... Asshole. <sighs> okay. You imbecile. <laughs> okay. Save on four now. Any new quest? How you doing? Be careful. We can't rely on others. Same deal. Don't need to heal just yet. It's just trash. Hello, you two. The egg is doing great, but it will take a while until it hatches. You and your Quilava, you're a great team. Ethan, I'm sorry. Letting Harold get away was absolutely stupid. I hope you won't regret this choice later. Whatever. Harold was an important member. His craftsmanship was valuable for us. And now... We are left with nothing. What to do now, Ethan? Hmm? What now? <sighs> I don't know. You wanted to kill him. Is his dead corpse going to build anything for you? Can't tell you. I have no idea. Come on, Dave. Could be worse. Could also be a lot better. I feel like... The number of infected is growing. Our supplies are sufficient for now. But for how long will they last? Due to new survivors, our consumption has increased. Even without Harold. What if we were to stay here for weeks or even months? I mean, what if there are too many infected out there and we can't take a single step outside? There is no way out, not a single one. Neither the Elix Forest nor Route 35 are an option. Whoa. Whoa. Look how spooky it is. I am so spooked right now. Route 35 is flooded by infected. Going there would be suicide. Same with the Lex Forest. Sounds like some standard RPG title screen music. So, what should we do? Starving? Or get eaten alive? Both choices are horrifying. I hope it won't come this far. Me too. But now that I think about it, there's one thing we haven't tried yet. What about the train rails that lead out of the city? Oh boy, you follow the tra the rails, you'll walk into a large dark forest and a heavy fog. You want to try that? Since that seems to be our last hope of leaving the city, I think so. I never thought of this because I found it to be too risky. That's very brave of you, Ethan. I've risked so much trying to get out of here. Can't pass on this last chance. You're right. <sighs> all, all right. Go and find out if we can escape from the city walking along the rails. Be prepared. You're walking into a dark forest. God knows what awaits you there. When that route is actually safe, come back to us and bring, the, bring us there, all right? Of course. And I'll stay here and think about a backup plan. Take care of yourself. Okay. Make another save. I guess I should check the wardrobe. I can play as blue, Ethan. Why is the... What the heck? Why is there a highlight? That's just like... It, that doesn't fit the actual sprite limitations. That looks weird. Okay, I'll be blue, Ethan, though. I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba die. I'm freaking blue. Anything on the southern exit? Let's find out. 
Nothing out there. Hang on, is there anything else in the game corner? There's still more enemies in there. I don't know if there's anything to really get in there. Definitely feels like it's getting darker. Locked. I guess I need to go back down here. Hold up. Let's make another save while we're here. So, Miner, do you think I'm on route for the good ending? So, I, do I have to go down here? No, wait. I have to walk around along the rails outside, don't I? Going down here isn't something I need to do right now. Why am I blue? Because I'm just a little, a little sad today. Is that so wrong? I don't remember this place. What is this music? Oh, great. There's something wobbling around. Okay, there's one. Oh, it's Venonet. Hold up a second. Oh, thank you for all the gift subs there, Dukester. I appreciate it. Uh oh. I see Karen's dead. I guess uh, she should have picked a strong Pokemon instead of a weak Pokemon. Yeah, the point of the fog is to block the projectile of this thing, isn't it? Okay, I got it. Oh, this is annoying. Okay. I wonder if there's anything hidden around. Maybe the tree? It looked unique enough. Hmm. That's a Zubat. Is that a pincer? I think it is. I don't think it can fire a projectile at me, so I should be okay. Especially since it remembers health. Okay, nice. Got it. I gotta lean in here so I don't accidentally bump into anything. Guy with orange hair. Take him out. New route in Johto discovered. There's a house here. I don't remember this part of the game. Is this new? Oh. Oh. That scared, uh, scared me to death for a moment. An infected hanging from the ceiling. But it looks like it can't reach us. I'm wondering what happened here. Can I save in here? I can. Okay, perfect. An old Nintendo console. Don't have time for this. Bridge is completely empty. See, the reason he's uh, like that right now isn't because of the zombie apocalypse. He must have been playing, like, uh, Mulan's Great Adventure. A calming picture of a beach. I should stop daydreaming. A normal radio. Do you think there's still someone, uh, someone still sending? I don't. Diary of a train station employee. Bro didn't even write his name. He just, like, says that. Okay. Diary of a train station employee. I uh, should be able to edit it so you can let me see all the endings later. Okay, thank you. We'll see if we can do that. March 17th, 2000. My day started as usual. Like every morning, I checked the tracks and removed any stones and branches. It's nothing unusual to see an overrun Weedle or Paris on the tracks. However, the shredded whooper laying next to the tracks was unusual. It didn't seem like it was hit by a train, though. It rather seemed like something tore it to pieces. Whoopers don't have any natural predators, as far as I know. At least not around here. There was almost nothing left of the dead Pokemon, but I buried the remains in the forest. Looks like the next entry was written on the same day. I've just witnessed a fight between a Poliwag and a Pidgey. Those Pokemon look very aggressive. Something is wrong here. Poliwag and Pidgey are peaceful Pokemon in the wild. These two species never fight under normal circumstances. Does urbanization have something to do with that? Are they forced to fight for the shrinking territories? That's my theory, at least. I can't see them anymore. They moved out of view. Tomorrow, I will take a closer look at what happened outside. March 18th. I took a closer look after what I saw last night. The Poliwag who fought the Pidgey was torn to pieces. It lost both eyes, has no tail anymore, and the lower body half was missing. The scariest part was that it was still alive somehow. That sight made a cold shiver run down my back. I've never seen something this dreadful. I was sorry for the Pokemon, so I ended its pain and hit it with the shovel. 
I've also buried the cadaver. I haven't seen the aggressive Pidgey anymore. Time for a break after this terrifying event. Next pay or next entry was written after his break. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying, Ethan. Since these events, I feel somewhat constricted. And I'm pretty sure this isn't just in my head. The forest became very quiet. Usually the Butterfreeze fly around happily and the Bulbasaurs that grow up nearby show up from time to time. But at the moment, everything is quiet. A bad turnaround of nature? Did the Pokemon notice something? I have no idea. I'm curious whether the people from Goldenrod City noticed anything, but I can't leave my current post right now. They want to install the promised phone line? This takes forever. But I can understand. This isn't an easy task for a house in the middle of the forest. Also, I turned on the Goldenrod News, but everything you can hear through the radio is a tired groaning of humans. I don't know. That's very strange. Could just be a temporary malfunction. I'll keep my senses sharp, though. I'm wondering, when the last Magnet Train passed by? March 19th. When I woke up this morning, I couldn't believe my eyes. There was no dead Pokemon on the tracks, but a dead human. Just like the Pokemon from the last couple of days, this poor guy was torn to pieces. I needed to do something. I will run to Goldenrod City and inform the police, but first I will write it down in my diary so everyone knows that I am not a suspect in any possible murder. The next entry was written later that day. Oh, good. He must have ran all the way to Goldenrod and back after he wrote it down. Couldn't go to Goldenrod City. Suddenly, there were all these aggressive Pokemon with their red glowing eyes that tried to hunt me. I fled. That didn't get me. Or they didn't get me, luckily. It was like with the Pidgey and the Poliwag. I knew immediately I had to run for my life. I think I will stay in here for now. Thanks to the chaos of the last couple days, I completely forgot to buy food and drinks. March 20th. The outside became more dangerous. I'm too scared to leave my home now. There are way too many aggressive Pokemon running around. There are also some humans among them that attack and eat each other. What the F is going on here? What is the reason for their behavior? Is it the air? Or is the water contaminated? Will I become like that as well? This is the first time I'm scared since a very long time. Next entry was written a while later. They stand in front of my door, scratch it, and make dreadful sounds. I can't sleep anymore. I can't stand this anymore. March 21st. This morning was relatively quiet. Once I turn on off the lights and be silent, these beasts leave me alone. I couldn't get any sleep last night anyway because I'm too scared to sleep. Sleep deprivation and thirst is driving me crazy. I drank my last bottle of water last night. Really hope this chaos returns back to normal soon. March 22nd. Today, a lot of people fled from Goldenrod City towards the forest. Bad idea. They all died. Some of them knocked at my door, and I really wanted to open, open them the door. But these beasts were faster and tore them to pieces. I'm trapped. It was a big mistake taking this job offer as a train station employee. I should have stayed in Saffron City. No, you shouldn't have. Things are not good over there either. As you'll see in Pokemon Dawn. The thirst is unbearable. But I have to stay in here, quiet and alone. I can't keep this for much longer. March 23rd. Thirst. My throat is dry and it hurts. Die of thirst or get eaten. I want neither. March 24th. I will soon die of thirst or get eaten by one of the beasts. But... There is another way. May God rest my soul. Thanks for the gift subs. I mean, it's suicide one day before he got to Golden si Goldenrod City. So he hasn't been dead for long. And he still became an infected. There's one further ado. I love how I read that and I just glance over and I'm thanking for subs. <laughs> Thanks for the subs. Imagine if I had like one of those bells and whistles notifications. Or a cheering Teddy Ursa would appear on screen when that happens. That would have been perfect timing, but I'd, I prefer not to have those soundbite stuff. There is one further small note. If someone reads this, a long time ago, I hit something at the apricorn tree next to my house that can help a Pokemon trainer. Good luck to you and your Pokemon. Well then, okay. Dude, like, had to give me his whole backstory. Calming picture of a beach. I should stop daydreaming. The employee said he hit something. HP up. Nice. 
Hang on, I can save inside here, so let me do this. Just play a loud air horn sound every time someone subs. <laughs> yeah, then people won't want to watch anymore. Is that an Eevee? Poor little thing. Kill it. Well, I already accidentally walked backwards, so... Save again. Just in case things go wrong. I'm at just over half health. This is fine. I feel like I've conserved enough items and resources. I do not have to worry it for the rest of the game. Because I think I'm past the halfway point. There's like maybe... An hour or so left of the game. Uh-oh. Looks like we're not getting through that. Landslide broke it. And up here is what? Oh, hey, it's Kurt again. Uh-oh. Bulbasaurs and Ivysaurs. That Ivysaur is shiny. And the fire went through you. But you don't. Come on. Oops. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Hold up a second. I'll read that in a moment. Let me just take care of the Bulbasaurs and Ivysaurs. Come on. Dude. That had so much HP. Okay. Check the code. Uh, the game checks that you have made three good ending choices rather than caring about any particular one. Spare Herald is a good choice. Okay. So, so far, I've made all good choices, right? I think that's the only choice I've been given so far. Oh, boy. So let me know when the next one that comes up is... What's this, anyway? Conservation area, Bulbasaur, idol. Oh, no! Poor things, there's none left. There's a cut tree. A green outfit? Oh, hell yeah! I'm gonna be styling while I kill zombies. What is that, Umbreon? Okay, no problem. This is so much easier to do with a controller. What's that? Sounds like someone had a bad time. Oh, walked on him. Hang on, I see some- Is that Cubone? Orphan alert. Orphan alert. What's that in the water? I think that's a Staryu. Would it kill you to walk just a little bit more to the left? There you go. Zombie Pokemon, bro. No one really does zombie Pokemon anymore. I feel like nowadays there's so much taint and embarrassment associated with it. And no one wants to be make anything like it. Reminds us of the better times. Okay, here's a Scyther. Is that there's enough room here to keep my distance, so I'm not worried too much about these guys. Okay, I got him. It's over here. Abandoned tracks? Oh, potion, nice. Okay, that's good. And over here. It's more like the zombie apocalypse fad has uh, passed. Yeah, nowadays I suppose everybody would just be ma be making like Five Nights at Pokemon now. Or is, is Five Nights at Freddy's still popular or have the kids moved on to something else? I almost said Hello Neighbor, but I'm pretty sure that one's also dead, right? What have they moved on? What is hip with the kids with the spookiness right now? How can I capitalize on that? We have nothing else over here. Hold up, I just gotta fix something here. More Bulbasaurs. Hang on, I think I can just reset this. Garten of Ban Ban. I have heard nothing but bad things about that. Aren't they, like, making, like, a new one every couple months, and people are just like, this is bad. Just back to smaller indie stuff. Oh. Damn it. Okay. 
Remember when Sonic.exe was the horror craze? You know what? You're right. It wasn't any better like uh, a decade ago. Who are we fooling? Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna slowly like poke it and leave. Cause I don't want to risk any extra damage. Remember when Slender was the big thing? Nowadays, anybody can just turn on like uh, a 3D game engine and make like sl something Slender-like in like 10 minutes. Oops, come on, I'm trying to turn. Okay, good, it's down. Okay, I got ya. What's this? Can't interact with it. Ah, damn it. I missed. Come on. Okay, I got him. Oh, that one's crawling. Sorry, Jim, you gotta go. Oh, boy. Is that everything? I can't interact with any of these papers, it seems. Or that. I don't remember this section of the game at all. Oh, that's a polywhirl. Hang on. Okay. The next big horror craze could be literally anything. Who knows? I feel like nowadays, YouTube Let's Playing and streams have taken off so much that it's not just like one thing that's popular anymore. There's like a whole bunch of things. Like, I think, uh, how many of y'all remember, like, the 2012, 2013 Let's Play days? Everybody was just playing Amnesia and, like, uh, custom, custom mods for it. Is that a green slowpoke? Oh, that hit me? Oh, that's bad. Hang on. Hang on. I need this to wear off. Like, right now. Okay, good, it's gone. Let's get out of here. Oh, it's so hard to see on this right now. Come on. Is that a whooper? That's a whooper. Okay, I killed it. Okay, I got the slow poke too. Hmm. Uh, doesn't look like there are any infected here. That's great. Malava. Queh. Nonetheless, we should take a look at what's in front of us. That looks like it's a golem. If that works, we're out of here soon. Hmm, I think I'll go here. It'll be safe. Uh-oh. Oh. My God. We can never get through here. I just realized that section was so long, it's been a while since we really had dialogue. Hmm. This was our last hope of leaving the city. Would have been too good to be true. Well, we're not gaining anything by standing around here. Come, Brando. Let's get back. We... Can't hop down. Why does the train go at such a sharp, steep, like, dive there? That that can't be safe. Uh-oh! Holy crap! What? What is that? An, an infected golem. I don't remember this part at all. Is this new? It's been years, though, so I could just be, like, forgetting stuff. We can't go back. We cannot fight our way through. So many infected at once. This is definitely new. Okay, that means we have to fight this infected golem. Golem's a rock type. Melee attacks won't work. Bulava. Oh, hang on. It's getting ready to play rock music. Let me just avoid a copyright claim. Bulava, Quilava! Okay. Oh, so it's just gonna... Oh, oh, bro, that's... Excuse me? Oh, that's the only safe spot, huh? Okay. The crack will hurt me. 
but I'm safe on this tile. Oh, crap, come on. I walked too early. Okay. Let the flamethrower charge up. And walk down here again. Come on. I gotta have to just poke him slowly over time. This is the safest thing I can do. Okay. Flamethrower's ready. Come on. He's at, like, half health. I just have to have a little patience. Yeah, don't risk it. Go, go, go. Okay, flamethrower is ready for the next hit. Almost. He's doing another little stomp. Little stompy stomp. Yeah, I went for two hits. Could probably manage that. Ah, oh, damn it, I walked onto it. Oh, and I wasted the flamethrower. Oh, wait, no, I still got it. Ugh, dude. What a pain. Luckily, those cracks in the ground just fade away over time. Like all earthquake attacks do in Pokemon. Okay, we got it. Some of y'all rewatch the old videos more than me, so if you guys say this is new, I'll take your word for it. Whoa, that was unexpected. Come to think of it, when I was looking the other day, I don't think there's any Let's Plays of the English version of uh, the remaster on YouTube. I can only seem to find, um, find Let's Plays in German, so I might be the first person uploading this in English. Who knows? Anyway. Whoa, that was unexpected. Let's get back quickly. We have no business here anymore. Lava Lava. If you don't make three correct choices, the game then checks if you've done at least four side missions. If you have, you get the neutral ending. Okay, so as long as I make the right choices, I'll, for the next two parts, I'll definitely have, um, I'll definitely be able to get the true ending. True ending is the goal. Okay, let's get out of here. How much damage did I take? Okay, I'm at 10. It might be wise, like, there's not that much of the game left, I'm pretty sure, even with this extra area. So... I think maybe... Hmm. Yeah, I should definitely use another Nurse Joy heal. I think I have more than enough to finish the game. So, this whole area past the train, the, the rails to the side of Goldenrod, I'm pretty sure this just isn't in the original game, but I can't remember don't remember the golem at all, so it must be new. Hang on, I can save in here. Let's go. Got an HP up, so, you know, get more bang for my heals. I know this isn't part of Johto. That's, that's not what I mean. I don't mean new to Johto. I mean new to this uh, remaster of this specific game. Okay, we're back to uh, Goldenrod. Um, let me see here. I've been picking stuff up. I don't think picking extra up, uh, extra items affects ending, no. Yeah, so we're good to ignore those. Hang on, though. I want to be green. Look at me, everybody. I'm green. Isn't that cool? Hello. The egg is doing great, but it will take a while. And, could you find an escape route from the city? Well, those are wonderful news. Didn't expect that to work, to be honest. You should... Why should the forest be free from infected, hmm? Ugh! Hey. Calm down. We're alive, alright? Yeah. That's the only saving grace. But for how long will that stay true? Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, we'll run out of supplies sooner or later. I counted. We won't last forever. While you were in the forest, I checked out the department store. Ethan, the department store should be filled with a lot of supplies we could take. Trust me, I don't want to starve in here, and I don't even want to think about eating another human. You get it? Yeah. I don't want to do that either. Do you know what I want to say with this? I guess. I was only able to get into the first floor, but the upper floors? No chance. The security lock, uh locked the door when the power went out. But the basement, the department store, has its own generator. But I don't have a damn weapon to defend myself with. Ethan, I am so sorry to ask this again. 
So I should go down there and turn on the generator. Oh, well, if you insist, I guess you could do that for little old me. And collect supplies. Yep. Nobody can do this except you and your Quilaba. You understand the importance of this. Our lives depend on you. I don't want to rot down here. Never. Never. Nobody wants that. Do you think there will be many infected in the department store? I have no effing idea. I'm starting to hear their groans everywhere and every time. It's horrible. So, could you get the supplies for us? I guess there's no way around. Thank you. It means a lot to all of us, especially to me, that you're doing so much the work for us. As mentioned, the department store is open. Hold up, I just realized I still had the audio really low from when I was fighting the golem. My bad. The mixing in this game is all over the place. I keep having to turn it down because sometimes the sound effect will blow out your eardrums. So I'm kind of doing that on the fly here. You could just walk down to the basement and turn on the generator. You should be able to access the upper floors afterwards. Okay. Make a save. I don't think they have anything new. Harold's toolbox. What I'd get for him to be here. I think I should go ahead and use a heal. I mean, I'm at... No, wait. This is a big part of the game, so I think it's a good idea to heal. Let's do it. Yeah, I need a drink. I've been talking so much, my throat's getting dry. Palava was fully healed. Come back anytime. Anytime, she says. Okay, all you good moomins, are you ready for another heckin' spook? There's no more squishy friends out here. Just dead squishy friends. Dave said the generator's in the basement. Once that's back on, I can search the upper floors for supplies. I'm sure that'll be a great idea. Elevator's out of service. The basement looks different. Why do I get the feeling there will be enemies on the way back? It's completely silent in-game. I'm waiting for it to just, like, like, play another loud sound. Let's go. Go, go, go. Nothing in here. That's blocked. That's that. Uh-oh. Why does it look like this? There it is. Oh, I think I remember this part. Ding, ding. Okay. Done. Lava. Oh, no! Oh! There's no way we can fight them all! We gotta run! Holy crap! Oh! Dude, this is so loud! Hang on. Turn it down. Turn it down. Run! Bum, 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 bum. What track is this? I don't recognize it. Or, I do, but I can't pinpoint it. Run, 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 run. <sighs> They're running randomly. It's Arceus' sound. Oh, you're right. It's the Arceus battle theme. Dude, holy crap. This is the loudest track in the whole game. I, I couldn't even reach for my own headphone slider. <laughs> I don't know if I could pause it. I was just panicking. Oh, oh crap. They were fast. <laughs> you see why? <laughs> this is why you keep me on the slider. They were so goddamn fast. We almost didn't make it. He threw up. Ethan lost the casino key during the escape. Oh, did I? Why? Why I lose the casino key there? Elevator's out of service. Service counter. Let's make a save. Go to six. Okay. I don't think you can kill all of them. That wouldn't really work. Hang on. 
The safest strat is to pick them off. There's HP memory in place. Darn it. Come on. Nice. Ethan found supplies. Let's have a look around. Damn it. Hang on. I have heard this track before, but I can't pinpoint it. Okay. Darn it. Trying to focus. Of course, it went right through the puff. It's m way more safe to just keep resetting the room. I'm pretty sure it's Pokemon Dawn that has uh, a random clock tower theme. Like the clock tower main theme. Oh! That's a Hitmon top. It plays it in the overworld in that game. Come on. Can't seem to hit him when he's like that. Okay, got him. We're safe. Let's go. And is that Misty? Oh, not Misty. Oh, I hit the snares anyway. You got supplies. Excellent. I am having a good time, chat. Been a while since I did a super long late stream, but I'm having a fun time. Oops. Okay, let's reset. <sighs> okay. I still have a crap ton to get uploaded, though, so I don't know when I can get this up. YouTube processing has just been broken. Hang on. Come on. Come on. Dude, he did not want to move. Excellent, we're good. It's nice we got some spooky stuff to upload, though. These have been some of my favorite games to just get back to lately. I'm having a blast with them. Okay. Okay, he's always going to be walking forward there, I think, so I have a good good chance of just getting a shot, yeah. Oh, okay, he can walk over those. I thought they were impassable. Again, I do plan to... Oops, play Dawn again. But uh, again, if you want to watch more games like this, just look up Nightmare Invasion. That one's similar, but really cool in its own style. That should be the last supply. Let's get out of here. Okay, before that, what's upstairs? Oh. I love that... That moon back there. What's that from? Is that built into RPG Maker, or is that from something? Song 6 of 6. Family Jewels, Pokemon theme cover. Okay. Bill's Key. Oh, hey, it's Bill! Ah! Oh, come on, that's not fair! Bro! That startled me. Bill gonna die now. Come on. It made me jump. I was in the middle of about to say something in the chat, and it just made me verbalize my screech. Hang on. Ugh. I just kind of yelled a little bit into the microphone by accident. Gosh. I pulled a 2012 Let's Play tactic right there. Took us a little too far back to the past. I don't think it's a Castlevania moon. Oh, guys, just jump scared you by mistake. Hang on. I want to make a quick save. Before we check out Bill's house. Maybe there's something extra there. Door unlocked. Won't need this anymore. What is this music? It's quiet. What? Um... I recognize it. Oh, I know. This is the, the library from Resident Evil 2. Yeah, that's what this theme is. It's a very quiet meaty, tr meaty file, though. Bill's Diary. February 19th, 2000. 
Today I modified the Pokemon storage system. It's now possible to name the boxes. I'm gonna add some more features soon. A lot of trainers asked me to enhance the capacity of the storage system, so I did. There are now 14 boxes. There's another feature I'm working on, a feature where you can see the Pokemon on display. Still are more or less in beta, but I'm confident it'll be finished soon. Read further. February 28th. A few days ago, I've seen some guys in dark clothes. I think these guys were Team Rocket. Some of them were standing in front of the radio tower. What are they up to? Nothing good, I think. This organization causes problems wherever they appear. Like they did with Cerulean City and Saffron City. Hope the police is going to do something against them. Goldenrod is such a peaceful city. March 17th. Dear Diary. There was nothing interesting in the past time. That's why I didn't write anything in particular. But that has changed now. Most of Team Rocket bailed. But I think Team Rocket isn't the main problem anymore. Uh, one thing for the good ending is the survival of the egg. Okay, good. And that's two for me. Lately, there are these strange murders. People are going insane. There are reports of some folks who are eating people. That's sick, isn't it? The police is examining these cases. I hope the situation won't last too long. March 19th. So... I don't really know what to write. I've never seen something like that. It's now known why some people are insane and eating human flesh. Those crazy people. They aren't alive anymore, but they are somehow. Dead people in Pokemon just turn into something undead. I don't know. What the hell is that? This city is falling apart and the police is doing nothing anymore. Is Goldenrod City doomed? March 21st. I don't leave this house anymore. I'm too scared. They're everywhere. Just everywhere. This infection or whatever it is. You're getting infected when you got bitten. The living people here do know that. I think the police knew, but they didn't want to tell us. I don't really know what the cause is for this disease. Where did it start? Here or from the outside? The only thing I know is that the infection is spreading very fast. All of Johto is doomed. If we are not doing anything about that matter. March 22nd. I've seen something strange recently. When I was looking out of the window, I saw that police officer running out of the game corner. He locked the door from the game corner and was laughing hysterically. That was so creepy. I was curious about that. That's why I sneaked out of my house. When I came to get closer to the door, I heard those screams. But I couldn't open the door, of course. This guy took the key. This city is lost. There's no hope left. We're all losing our humanity and conscious. conscience. Conscience. Blah. Read further. Hold up. I think I'm about to sneeze, actually. Hang on. Or not. <laughs> I'm not. Why would he leave his journal? I don't think he takes it everywhere with him. But... Oh. Oh, boy. I think I'm good. I thought I was about to sneeze. Seems like this Bill was in a hurry when he wrote the following things. I have to make a decision. I have to leave Goldenrod City. I've been waiting for military help here for days, but no help came. I have to take my chances now. I took my Pidgeot from my internal storage system. I'm flying back to my lighthouse on Route 24 near Cerulean City. I'll be safe there. Maybe Kanto isn't infected yet. Who knows? Mom, Dad, I hope you're fine. I want to see you one last time. I'm so sorry. But he stopped at the roof, apparently. An old Pokemon storage system. The centers have newer models. Is there anything else here, or is it just lore? Is a resident a Pokemon researcher? Okay. Found nothing in here. Oh boy, I feel the sneeze coming again. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I'm good. Another loud sound to burst out your eardrums has been avoided. Oh. So much reading. So much sneezing. That's the real apocalypse. So, Bill's house was just for lore. Oh, wait, no. It was also to learn about the, um... Uh, the officer. Maybe we should go see him and have a word with him about that. Oh, no! That was loud. 
<laughs> that peaked the audio a little bit. Hey. What? What happened here? Oh God. Klaus. He. No pulse. He's dead. He suddenly took out his pistol and shot himself in the head. We couldn't stop him. Do you think he had a reason for doing this? Did he mention something to you, Ethan? He... He did mention something. He said he was responsible for the death of a couple of people. Maybe the guilt made him do it? I think that could be possible. Seems like he kept the last bullet for himself. He shouldn't have done this. Klaus, you should get rid of the corpse as soon as possible. Albert, could you help me? Of course. Martha, could you clean the floor, please? Yes, of course. Ethan, come to me once we got rid of the corpse. Okay. Well then. I'm at 29, not bad. Any new dialogue on you guys? How you doing? Nope, it's all the same. What about the egg? Hello. The egg is doing great. It moves sometimes. It will hatch soon. Excellent. That thing with Klaus came out of nowhere. If he had just talked to us about his problems, I'm sure there would have been a different solution. Huge loss for all of us. How you doing? Did you find supplies? Yeah, I found a lot. Ethan gave Dave the supplies. Perfect. This will keep us alive for a long time. I'm relieved now. Although we can't flee from Goldenrod City. Hey, Ethan. You look very tired. Don't you want to take a nap? At least for a couple hours? You seem stressed out. Yeah, I'm really tired. Some sleep sounds like a great idea. You're welcome. Just lay in your bed. I think this is the jump scare, actually. Hang on, I'm gonna turn it down. Oh, oh my! Dude, I was right in the middle of lowering it. <laughs> it was still full volume for me, but I turned it down for you guys. Cool. Ow! <laughs> there wasn't even a build-up to that. Ouch! Well, at least I got it for you guys first. Never say I don't prioritize my audience. I told you it was a Resident Evil 1 zombie. Did I lie to you? Dot, dot, dot. Can't sleep. These horrible images in my head. Oh, Ethan, you're awake already? Yeah, I had a bad dream. I think that's to be expected given this situation. For how long did I sleep? For about two hours. At least I got a bit of sleep. The egg is back, don't worry. There's a new person up there. Well, if I'm already awake, I can get out of bed as well. Hello, egg is doing great. It moves, we'll hatch soon. What? Sorry, you're new here. Applause, you can see. Something else? Sorry, I'm in a bad mood. Whatever. When you're here already, I'm Walter. Walter Hoffman. Anything else? Ah, uh, yes. I'm not allowed to get angry. I have some heart problems. You think I'm old, hmm? I'm just 54. That has nothing to do with my age. I've had these heart problems since forever. Oh, screw it. My medicine is almost empty. Maybe you can help me in the future. Hey, kiddo. My medicals are empty and at an alarming rate. I don't really... Really don't want to think about what happens when they're empty. So the medicine is vital for you. No. Of course not. Chronic heart problems are never a danger. How could you think that? What a question. My god. Everything with the heart is vital, okay? Foolish kid. You don't seem to want me to help you that badly. What a creep. Listen. Medicine's really important for me. I still have a couple of pills, but they'll be consumed within a couple of days. 
When that happens, I'm as good as dead. Understood? I'll get the pills. Yeah, I see. I'll try to get new pills. Great. I used to get my medicine at the Pokemon Center. You can find the heart pills there. I talked to Nurse Joy. She has the key for the Pokemon Center. And she'll give it to you. Oh, and... By the way, kiddo. Thanks. Okay. Hello, Ethan. I talked to Walter about his heart disease. We always gave him his pills, but he didn't come... Or didn't came anymore after a while. Guess he got his medicine somewhere else. Here, I have the center key. Okay. His pills are stored in the upper floor. You'll have to search for them. Good luck. Be careful. Okay, let's make another save. Okay, let's get out there. Let's go get some medicine. Oh, good. There's new friends wandering around. Oh, great. The fog is applied to the town as well. Fantastic. Dude, can you walk down? Okay, perfect. Come on. I gotta lean in. I can't really see what's going on. Ooh. They're certainly tanking the damage here. Okay, got ya. Best to stop in the train station and save right quick. Okay. Ooh. Pardon me. A little stuffy. A little cold today. Looks like it's safe down there. We're running out of buildings to explore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nice. I was really worried the flamethrower would go through him. PC is turned off. Probably wouldn't work anyway. If the storage system was working, I could get my spinner rack from my box. You suddenly have... Bro's just suddenly dropping... Uh... The lore out all of a sudden. <laughs> he had more Pokemon... Wait a second. That doesn't make any sense. He said Brando was his only Pokemon at the start. The liar. Seems like we have to search for the medicine. Also, that's a chance he ripped in half. Boo-hoo. Rip. Nothing. All boxes are empty. Completely empty. Wait. There's something. Ocean. Hell yeah. PC is turned off. Probably wouldn't work anyway. I can save in here. Yes, I can. Doctor's report from March 19th. He has riots in the city, cause a lot of victims. Even if the police remain silent, there's something wrong with the city. We had a new patient today. His body was totally bitten. We couldn't hold him stable. He died. But the death wasn't caused by his injuries, no. The problem was this incredible fever he had. His body was heating, but in the end, his body gave up and the exodus happened in his bed. He was dead, no doubt. A short time after I brought his body down to the morgue, I wanted to know what actually caused his high fever. I made some tests, but I couldn't find anything. After some unsuccessful hours, I wanted to... ...obduct the dead patient. What does obduct mean? There had to be something in his body. So I did the Y cut to his thorax, and while I was cutting his chest open, the patient woke up and attacked me. He was totally insane and didn't let me go. I knew he would kill me if I didn't- if I wouldn't do something about it. I took the knife and rammed it into his right eye. He died. Again. I took his corpse and put it on the autopsy table. And this time I tied him. But nothing changed. He is still dead. I didn't tell the incident to anyone. But I did write it down as an official medical report because I'm just that freaking stupid. I have to know what's going on here. Well, that bite wound I got from him was burning so terribly. But now it feels so... numb. Obduct is a word, but doesn't make sense here. They might have meant induct. Okay. I don't feel that good. I got some headache. My body temperature seems to be higher than normal. That's everything I found out about uh, the strange case. Dr. Theodore Moss. Supplement from March 20th. Dr. Theodore Moss was bitten by an infected. I've seen his wound and alarmed the rest of us so Dr. Moss would get into quarantine. 
We can't take the risk that someone is with us who got infected. Everyone who gets into close contact with the infected has to get into quarantine or get killed. It's the only way. Nurse Joy. It won't open. I always wondered what this machine was. Some patches and headache pills. Nope. There it is. Found the heart pills. Now let's go back. There's nothing left. Some patches and headache pills. Nope. Okay, let's see if there's an extra potion or something around. Some liquid medicine. Some liquid medicine. Doesn't make sense to enter the trade room. Doesn't make sense to enter the versus room. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Seems like it's still safe. I've taken everything out. Picked up everything I can. We don't gonna take all this other medicine. Why would we do that? That's nonsense. Hey, my friend. You're already awake again. Couldn't sleep, huh? It's not as good as I hoped for. Oh, wait. I need to talk to Walter. What am I doing? This situation is costing all of us our sleep. What happened in the meantime? Well, a lot. A new survivor got here. You mean Walter? I already talked to him. He's a big asshole, if you ask me. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. Whatever. You should hear what I just found out. While you were sleeping, I was outside and passed by the flower shop. Seems like there's another survivor inside. I think it was a woman. The voice I heard crying definitely was feminine. It would be great if someone could get her out of there. I had no time to find out more. The fog was too heavy, and I sensed infected approaching me. Ethan... Could you... We need to help the remaining people in Goldenrod City. Of course. At the flower shop, you said. Where exactly can I find it? It's in the northeastern part of the city, next to the gym. You should have no problems finding it. But I can't give you a key or anything. Knock at the door and see if someone responds. Okay, I'll try that. Shouldn't take long. You have them? You took your time, kiddo. Thought I'd have to kick the bucket. Give them to me. It should be enough for a while. I guess I have to thank you now. Hey. What's that? There was a TM from another region in between the heart pills. <laughs> yeah, you know. You, you, those things can just kind of get mixed up together. Here. Give that to your creature that you call Pokemon. Brando forgot Scratch and learned Slash. Well, Preacher can now use Slash. It can deal double damage against these foul asses. Whatever. That's everything I have for you. Now get out of my sight. I need rest. Ungrateful bastard. Well then, what a nice guy. I don't have a badge from Whitney. I didn't even check that option before. I'm gonna go back to being blue. Dubba dee dubba die. Hello, the egg is doing great. It moves, it'll hatch soon. Okay, now we're next on the next main quest. Let's go. Oh, pardon me. So I guess my basic melee attack is now stronger. Wait. Yeah, okay, it's just an upgraded melee attack. It doesn't have its own special meter. Locked. Hello? Um, hello? Is somebody in there? What? Who is there? My name's Ethan. I'm a Pokemon trainer. I want to help you. I've been told that someone is in here who could use- need my help. Ken, can you open the door? I... don't know. I don't want to take any risks. You, you can understand me, right? Listen. I'm not bitten. I don't want to harm you either. I'm just another survivor, like you. I'm coming from the underground bunker below Goldenrod City, and I was tasked with looking for you. We help every survivor. We provide protection and food. It is safe there. Let me help you. It's not safe here. Trust me. We have a lot of good people who can take care of you. 
And you're really speaking the truth, young man. I promise. I have no reason for lying to you. If you open the door, we can get out of here immediately. The bunker isn't far away. Okay. I'll open the door. You can come in now. Thank you for letting me in. It's dangerous outside, even if you have a Pokemon. I know about the outside. Sometimes I take a look outside the window and see those changed humans and Pokemon. Even friends who came to the flower shop regularly to buy things, even they have changed. They're wandering the streets with empty glances. They're unrecognizable. Those aren't the people you used to know. I'm sorry. I was so impolite. My name is Susan. I'm the owner of the flower shop. And you are... Ethan, right? That's correct. What did you say about this underground bunker? Is it a truly safe place? Who's there? I... I just have to get out of here. Yeah, we're a somewhat larger group down there. I'm sure you'll know some of them. Our leader, Dave, has an eye on everything, and he checks what's happening in Goldenrod City regularly. Or Martha, she ran the daycare, who takes care of those who got treated by Nurse Joy. Everyone's got a specific task. Maybe you could grow some vegetables or something like that. Who... Who is that guy behind you? That... That was my husband. What? What happened to him? He left us not that long ago. Is this the reason Dave heard her cry? I... I'm so sorry for you, Susan. How did this happen? He was sick. Sickness that's deadly, but can be healed. He should have been moved to a hospital, but... Then this outbreak happened, and nobody could care for him anymore. He locked us in here two uh, days ago. We had enough supplies, but his condition worsened more and more. And a couple hours ago... He died. I'm so sorry. That's why I have to get out of here as soon as possible. Let's see. I'll gather some stuff, and then we can go. <gasps> oh no! Huh? Oh. My. God. He's getting up. Dun dun. Frank? You're alive? Listen to that sinister meaty track. Susan, be careful. Oh, she's dead. Oh, and I thought I'd lost you forever, darling. You said you weren't feeling good. And, and, and you closed your eyes. I tried feeling your heartbeat, but there was none. You weren't breathing either. Susan, don't. <coughs> Oh, oh, I can't leave. Why would I be able to use the front door? Why would I assume such a silly thing like that? Oh, heck, I couldn't protect her. Everyone has such a frickin' potty mouth in this game. You two bait the same as it was six years ago, bro. I gotta eat. You can't just do this nonstop, Ethan. This was preventable. She didn't have to die. <laughs> what did I just say? There we go. Give a heck. Don't say bad words. Heck and heck. I can't believe he did that. It's funny because it's like Ethan Pokemon saying it. And he's followed around by his uh, Quilava named Brando. No, this is a main quest, not a side quest. Hold up. But there wasn't something I could do there, right? I just saved the game. Uh, if there was minor, feel free to correct me right now, but I'm pretty sure that was a cutscene and there was nothing I could do. Hang on. There's nothing to pick up. I'm just making sure there's nothing. I... I'm so sorry. Well, that's that. Nothing else here. Locked. Because I've done two things towards the good ending, but I don't know what the third is. Ah, 
Hi, Andrew. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Hang on. I hear something down there. Is there someone wandering? I should take them out. Is this still unlocked? Hang on. There might actually have been sp something that spawned in the corner, so... Let me just do this right quick. Hang on. Now that I have higher damage output... Oh, of course, the fire went through them. Bro, what is the condition for that? Like, if they just walk at the right frame or what? Nice. Oh, there is something. Purple outfit. I can be purple. Now, that's exciting. There's nothing else to pick up in here, right? Hmm. It's everything. Larry saved the game. I'm pretty sure there was nothing I could do for Susan. Hold up, I want to be purple. Holy moly, that's some deep purple right there. That's some saturated purple. What happened? Didn't she want to open the door? No. I was inside. You heard the shop's owner. But suddenly, her seemingly dead husband jumped up and tore her to pieces. What? Oh, heck. Heck. How? She had her infected husband in there? Do you see? That's the exact reason we can't allow infected people to stay here. That's just way too dangerous. Dangerous for everybody. Yeah, but I don't think she knew about it. She didn't notice her husband getting bitten. I can't think of another explanation. I see. Her death is very sad, nonetheless. I knew the lady. Not a lot. But I've seen her a couple of times. Every time she opened her shop in the morning... Hmm. I was almost certain that she was the one locked in there. So her husband died in front of her eyes. Oh my, that... It shouldn't hit me this much. Ethan, I, um... I need to ask you for something. Some private matter this time. Come to me again if you have a moment. Let's see if the egg is done. You can hear it make it sounds. It'll hatch very soon. Martha takes care of the egg. Which Pokemon is inside? Keep saving on six. I'm at 28, so I'm good. Hey, um, there's something I want to tell you. When I passed by the flower shop, I was actually going home, but I didn't get there because suddenly heard someone crying in the flower shop. Well, I wanted to go there because I want to get something important. Something very important for me, and I need it back. Constantly thinking about it. It seemed like it's safe to turn it up a little bit. Boop. Ethan, I know this doesn't benefit our group at all, but I have to ask you for something for personal reasons. Okay, I'm listening. There's an old souvenir lying in my kitchen that I need back. Souvenir? And is it really that important for you? I mean, I'm risking my life out there, but all oh, that just for a souvenir? Dave, clear your mind. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I don't know what I thought there. You know what? Heck it. If your mood is so down in the ground, then you won't be helping us much either. I'll do it. Ha! Wow. You got a lot braver. And you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Your house isn't far away anyway. That shouldn't be a big hassle. Okay, wow. Uh, Ethan, uh, thanks. I owe you one, my friend. It's all right. Okay. Just go into my kitchen. The souvenir is laying on the table in the corner. I thought about this for the last couple of hours. Here's my house key. Got Dave's key from Dave. Thanks. Thank you. Looks like we're nearing the three hour mark. I think we're getting close. That extra content earlier, if it really is new, definitely added, added to the game time a bit. Okay. I wonder if anything popped up in her house now, though. Let's check. <gasps> She's gone. Where is Susan's corpse? Did she disappear? Whoa. Whoa, it's Susan! 
Now you can walk down. Or not. I don't think she can move from that spot. It seems like when she hits um that tile, she's stuck there. Is that like a, that must be like an oversight or something? Hang on, I need her to walk up. Go, oh, garbage, bro. Garbage. Now you can suddenly move, huh? Huh? Hang on. No, Susan got to die for that. Now we knew where Susan's corpse went. She's finally released. I hope she's together with her husband now. Done my good deed for the day. Wait, did that does that affect the ending? I hope it does. Susan, does that affect the ending? Susan says yes. Game is switching between Susan and Suzanne, yeah. There's, so this is Dave's house. Whoa, look at that. Dave has like a microphone. D is Dave a streamer? He has a streamer set up. Whoa. We're in the presence of a celebrity when we're down there. He's got a podcast, probably. Nothing in the fridge. This should be it. It's a photo. Let's see what's on it. <laughs> now, uh, does anyone else recognize the character on the left? Hmm. I believe the original photo was like, um, the overworld sprites just in an awkward picture. That was the first zombie. Yeah, the one Dave shot to save me. It shows Dave at the beach together with a girl. He doesn't have sunglasses on. There's some- wait, is this Silent Hill music? It is. There's something written on the back of it. Beach trip, Cianwood City, for the best girl in the world. Oh, listen to those meaty trumpets! Mmm! Look at that! I love you so much, honey, and I'm forever happy I found you. Soon, we will move to Goldenrod City together. I'm looking forward to this. In love, your Dave. <laughs> Chad is just spamming, like, uh, trumpet emotes. <laughs> Oh, Dave, now I know why you wanted to get this photo back so much. Let's get out of here, Brando. I think that should lift up Dave's mood a bit. It's Dylan's trumpet emote. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's just very funny to me. <gasps> What's that? Did you guys hear a noise? I do genuinely think it's a good twist that uh, the first zombie was Dave's girlfriend. I think that was pretty good. It's one of those details you could have easily forgotten about. <gasps> no. Oh my god. It's Harold. No. Dude. Dude! Oh my god, you are- Will you freaking hold still? What is your problem, Harold? I should have killed you earlier. <laughs> he kept, like, walking forward and then immediately, like, shifting direction so it didn't, like, let me hit him. But I get hit because of the way he was moving. Oh my god. Whatever. That was Harold. Oh, oh my god. Quick. Let's grab the photo and get out of here. Ooh, that upsets me. The randomness of their movement makes issues like that happen sometimes. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey! What? What? You again? You're trying to fight us again? Calm down. I never wanted to prevent you from surviving. Tell me. What's your name? Yeah. Name? Uh, okay, they randomly, uh, forgot to translate that part. Uh, it's Ethan. Okay, Ethan. 
sorry that I've threatened you and your friend, that I destroyed the electricity of the train, but I had my reason. A reason that I didn't seem to want to mention earlier for some... no other reason than to reveal it later. Ugh. And what reason? Just imagine this. That high-speed train is loud as hell, and it has a bright lighting. You can see the lights from their great distance. And when the undead see that lighting from the outside, then all hope is lost. And even more infected come to Goldenrod City. We're all doomed. So why didn't you mention this earlier? The people who are still alive could leave Goldenrod City with us. What's the problem? We're leaving this place, then forever. Ethan, you don't understand. It's not about the few survivors in Goldenrod City. It's about mankind. You're Whitney. You're freaking Whitney in Pokemon. This is not your problem to think about. It's about mankind. This pest actually started here. What? This disaster started here and spread out? Exactly. But, but how? That means if it started here, we could stop this plague? One thing I can tell you surely, you can't cure this infection, but yes, we could stop it. So, no more people in Pokemon get infected. This has the highest priority. Do you understand now? That's why we have to protect Goldenrod City. We can end this here. B but how? The how is a good question. Ethan, I'll come back later to you. Oh boy. Firstly, I have to take care of my injured mill tank. Uh, sorry about your mill tank. It's all right. I was the one who challenged you. If we're going to survive, this and the world is back to normal. I will give you the plane badge. One question. You group up with the people from the underground. Yeah? Why? I will give you one advice. Watch yourself. People are sometimes wearing that mask to pretend something. Sometimes people might have a dirty secret. So, see you, Ethan. This is how you know it's fake, because Whitney's being a gracious loser about, about the fight. You found it? Yeah, here it is. Ethan gave Dave the photo. Wow, thanks, Ethan. That means the world to me. Ah. <sighs> Susan wasn't related to the ending. Thank you. We have to keep going. We will get through this crap. We came so far. Everything will turn out fine. I'm absolutely sure. Since you mentioned all of this crap, I just met Whitney. Whitney? The gym leader who attacked you and Harold? Yeah. But it doesn't matter that she attacked us for now. I talked to her a bit. and She seemed to know much more about the outbreak of this pest than we do. She said the source of the infections here in the city, in Goldenrod City. What? Here? In Goldenrod City? And... How? Where exactly is the source? Did she tell you that? Unfortunately not. She didn't get that far. She left. Before she could tell me everything. Wow. Root of all evil lies here. Never thought of that. You think we could stop this infection? Maybe. Yes. That would be a glimpse of hope for this godforsaken world. Thanks again for that image, Ethan. You're welcome. There's another important thing. I saw something outside. Come back to me when you have time for it. Oh? Oh, look! The egg's hatching, everybody! Look at that. Look at- listen to that sweet, meaty tunes! Pest might be a mistranslation. They probably meant pestilence. I don't know. Again, originally this game was made in German, so I'm you know I'm not holding it against them if the language is uh, a little iffy sometimes. Charmander hatched from the egg. Look at that baby Charmander. Wow, never seen a Pokemon egg hatch before. Oh, look at this! A cute Charmander hatched. Charmander, Charmander. Charmander, I've heard those are strong fire-type Pokémon. Like you, Brando! Lava, lava. I will take good care of it. Oop! That little Charmander's so cute. Okay. 
Now, I think now's a good time to use this other heal, right? I made a save, but I think this is a good point to use it. Kulava's fully healed, come back anytime. So, what did you see? Oh, Ethan, I don't think this is gonna be easy. Uh, okay, why's that? There's another giant infected poke. Oh, it's a boss fight, okay. Actually, I think I sh it was was good to use the heal. Yeah. I, I have more than enough for the rest of the game. Like a Venusaur? But all entrances and exits to the city are blocked. This Pokemon is an attack in the land, but from the water. It's important we kill it fast. Otherwise, things could get really unpleasant here. So, uh, water-type Pokemon. Heck yeah. Listen, even your Quilava should be able to handle an infected water-type. Don't forget, they aren't real living beings anymore. So, what are you gonna do? I have no choice, right? Unfortunately, yes. Trust me, if I had some ammunition, I'd shoot this ugly thing until it doesn't make a sound anymore. Ah, heck. I feel so useless right now. Heads up. You're doing a great job at what you can do. Thanks. Ethan, when you're prepared, come to me. Let me start saving on 7 now. So, Ethan, what do you think? You ready to fight the infected water type? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, it's still... Oh, it's a Kingdra. Right, I remember this one. The sign's destroyed. An infected Kingdra. Hang on, I'm gonna have to preemptively lower the audio before it blows up my eardrums again. Whoa, crap, it looks very sick. But we can do this, right? You can beat it. Lava. Okay. Okay, I gotta get closer. Can it hit below there? Okay, this might take a while. Oh, bro. Oh, no, dude, dude, no. Ooh. Dude. Can you... Are you serious, dude? Oh, this is pissing me off. Damn it. This look like fun to you guys? Does it look like I'm having fun right now? Oh, great. Here we go. <sighs> Whatever. Wait. Okay. It doesn't look like my HP is, uh... Oh, no. It's the, it's the extra bar. Silly me. Dude. Okay. I can do this. I have enough healing items. I have enough items. I've been hoarding them the whole time through the playthrough. I hoarded them just, just specifically for bullcrap. Come on. Come on. Damn it. Gotta hit the part that's poking out of the water, obviously. Okay, I did it. That... That was a little scary at first, but I did just fine. I'm good. I remember in the old version, the piled-up bodies would start to lag things. Did that happen? That sounds like something that would happen. But I got through it. Dude, I'm, I mean, I'm first trying a lot of things. I had a lot of trouble with the old version. I remember that, at least. Ugh, that's pretty tough. Hope this was the last nasty surprise this night. Let's head back to the hideout. Okay, we took them all out. Yeah, that's why they move on reload. Keep saving on seven. Let's go back. I'm sure everyone will be very excited and thankful that I just saved their lives again. Professor Elm? Aren't you dead? Oh, hang on. I think I can turn it back off now. Ethan. I... I don't have much time. Professor, how are you? What happened? My... my assistant. He got bitten. I was able to kill him. But he got me. I lost some blood. 
and it seems like I lost consciousness for a while. My body temperature is rising, and I don't feel so good. You know what this means. Ethan, listen, before we can't hear each other again, I'm going to speak as slowly as possible. There was one thing I couldn't tell you earlier. Everybody, every single person and Pokemon in this country is infected. Regardless of whether they were bitten or not. So loud again. Once one dies, one will turn into an undead creature. No matter the cause of death. Oh! Ethan, you always were a mannerly kid. P promise me that you will take care of yourself, okay? Ah, uh, how does he know this? How do you figure this out? P professor, professor! God, he's dead. Not Professor Elm. We needed that guy. He He's supposed to give me a Master Ball after I got the 8th badge. Thank you, Professor Elm. Thanks for everything. I'm not gonna let you down. Should I tell the others in the hideout about this? I really hope that this effing nightmare ends soon. Okay. Does this count as a choice? Or... Oh, hey, where is everybody? Where... Where did everyone go? Hey. Someone's lying on the floor. It's Dave. That's... Dave! Is he... dead? Hey, what's up? Oh! Crap! Oh! My head! Dave! God bless, you're all right. These heckin' meanies. Dave, your head is bleeding. What? What happened? Heck, kid. I passed out. The others, they became totally insane. What happened? Are the others all right? They're all right? Of course they're all right. Those mother heckin' pretenders. Those poop heads. <laughs> I don't understand. Listen. Whitney was here. What? Whitney did this? No. Um, actually, she was passing by here. We were skepti uh, skeptical. Then she had shown us a key. It was a key for a boat. She put the key on the table and left. And then it started. A discussion started if we should get out of here as fast as we can. I mean... It's a good thing we got an opportunity to flee, but I didn't want to go without you. I- at least I owe you this. You mean... Yep. They just wanted to leave this place as soon as possible while you were taking care of the Kingdra. I was the only one who wanted to wait for you. It was a heating argument. An act of violence started. And then... I passed out. Someone knocked me out. It was probably Walter. That son of a Moomin. Now they're all gone. Just to save their own butts. So my replacement's killing you. Yeah. I want these three- I want the three hours I spend on this game to at least afford me one meal <laughs> instead of nothing. Didn't I tell you that you have to be careful about the people you're dealing with? Whitney, why did you do that? I had a feeling that those people weren't honest with you. That's why they could have become a threat to you if they wouldn't have left. Look at this guy here, for example. Yeah. You're damn right. Not our group is a great team, though. Dummies. Seems like they lied to us the whole time. Sorry, the char I had to take the Charmander with them. Sorry, but those meanies are safe now. Who knows? But wh what? What? No. What's with us? Good question. 
Don't you have another boat? A boat with a cannon so we can take down the boat with those other mother heckers? Unfortunately, no. But if we could stop this infection, we wouldn't need to flee anymore. Maybe. Hey, girly, you seem to know more than we do. Please tell us what you know. This odyssey is starting to annoy me. Alright. You want to know the truth? Why is her name suddenly Bianca? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that that was her uh, German name. And this that text box didn't get translated properly. It all started when Team Rocket came to Goldenrod City. It is her German name? Okay. Are you guys ready for that sick backstory? You need to understand, this infection is caused by an artifact. An artifact which got stolen by Team Rocket. This is more Resident Evil 1 music. It's really, really quiet though. I can't hear it. The text on it reads, the power to make everyone weak-willed and dangerous. That's what Team Rocket, or what a Rocket Grunt told me. I guess Team Rocket didn't really understand what that meant. Oh god. Oh no. Uh oh, looks like Karen couldn't do anything to stop him. The range of the artifact itself is very small. It only works over short distances. But if you link it to a transmitter that amplifies its waves, well, then, then you can spread this inf infection through the whole country. That's why Team Rocket raided the radio tower. Oh, unbelievable. No way. They linked up the artifact to the radio tower, spread its waves across all of Johto, and then vanished. Not many... Have even noticed Team Rocket's appearance in Goldenrod City. They took the artifact with them, of course, and I'm pretty confident they weren't pleased with the unexpected results. The plague started reviving recently deceased human and Pokemon. It naturally took a while until the people realized what was going on. Wow. Now I do understand. Team Rocket thought they could control every Pokemon and make them limp? But weak will doesn't actually mean control, it means creatures without conscience. Yep. Heckin' Team Rocket, I knew they'd do something stupid. Those wankers are heckin' insane. Suddenly calling them wankers now. But yes, what about this infection? You said we could stop this. But the artifact is gone, isn't it? Yes. There's something else I didn't tell you. The artifact comes from some burial place. And this burial place is directly below the gym. Of course it is. Why? Hmm. Why would it be anywhere else? So you knew about that. Not really. There is some hallway connected to this burial place. But I wasn't interested in visiting some cemetery. Why should I? I told you guys that the Clefairy Gym was built on some kind of, like, like world-destroying cemetery. Was I right? I was right. I told you the Clefairies were a symbol of evil. Maybe there's something down there that could help or stop the artifact. There are some rumors about this burial place. For example, there are the ghosts of the descendants, or that there is a legendary undead Pokemon. Patient Zero was Cleffa all along. Hello, friend. Welcome. What a time to join. Oh, she's her name is Bianca again. Do you understand why I wouldn't go down there? Would I say that as Bianca in German, or am I supposed to be pronouncing it a different way? I don't actually know. Do you now understand why I wouldn't go down there? But I think we have to. I don't even know what we should expect there, or if this has any sense. I think it's the only option. I say it like Bianca, okay. Crazy poop. I wish I wouldn't have moved to Goldenrod City. So we're going this burial place together. Dave has been swearing so much in the past little while. Dave. You should stay here. stay here. You're injured. No way. I'm fine. You don't even have a weapon or a Pokemon to defend yourself. Stay here, my friend. It's the best choice. Hey, sweetheart. Kiddo is right. Stay here. You are not useful for us. Not yet. This does not feel like Whitney's personality at all. Like, who, who is this character? <laughs> Alright. I will wait for you. 
But when I'm fit again, we're going to kick some zombie booty together. Okay, how do we enter this burial place? Like I said, there is a hallway below the gym. That will lead us there. I'm pretty sure this is the last part of the game. We're almost done. I'll go ahead and wait for you there, yeah? Right now, that's our only hope of ending this nightmare. See, a reason I wanted to use the Nurse Joy thing is because I knew they were all going to disappear, so those remaining heals are just gone. All right, I'll be right there. One thing. I unlocked the door from the Name Raider. I think there's some supplies in there you could need. Not the Name Raider. Hmm. So, the all-or-nothing option. I'll wait, for, uh, wait here until you two are back. I promise that to you. Then we'll find a way to escape from here. Of course, we can do this. I'll come back as soon as possible. See you later, Dave. Okay. So have I hit the next check for, um... The next check for, uh, the good ending? Because there should be one more, right? Whitney said she'd wait for you at the gym. If we could stop the infection, that would be great. Ugh. My head hurts like crap. I'll wait for you here. Okay. A lot of medical stuff. Only Nurse Joy knows how to use them. Well. She was actually a brat. I feel like Kalava should have evolved through this. I feel like a lot of things don't make sense in this game. That's not at the top of my list, though. Antidote. Berry. Potion. Okay, we're good. This is pretty much it. There's nothing else to get. We're going to the end of the game now. Are you all ready? You ready to feel the truth of the matter? Feel the truth? What kind of saying is that? See? I t the stairs right below the Clefairy. Ancient evil. Right there. Told you it was there. Well, here it is. The artifact was down there? That's right. The artifact and a ton of corpses. You should be careful. It could get really uncomfortable down there. What about you? Aren't you coming with me? There are new zombies in the city. I try to have your back and follow as soon as possible. I don't like that at all. Ethan? You have a much better chance with your fire-type Pokémon than we do. I promise. We will join you as soon as we can. I'm not letting you down. Okay, Bianca. Let's go, Brando. I'm really afraid of what's expecting us down there. Now she's Whitney again. Go down there already. I'll join you. I'll join you later and help. Get comfy. Whoa. What music is this? Okay. Make saves and clear things out. I think it's safe to assume the remastered. Look, there's just an entire cemetery, like, crypt down below Whitney's gym. This is the most absurd thing that has happened in this entire playthrough so far, and that says a lot, I feel. Okay. I feel like I should know where this music comes from, but I'm not sure. Hang on. Do you guys recognize it? Let me see. Okay. Just don't get hit. Alright. Is that a headless body or what? I think it might be. Come on. Take a step to the side, boyo. I love how he didn't get knocked back. Is that a crooked man? That's a crooked man. We're just gonna have to push ahead. Okay, or we could just get hit because my fire went through him. Oh, man. Can't examine stuff here. Another crew Kedman defeated. There's stairs there, but is there supplies this way? Yeah. I'm gonna need these healing items towards the end, so let's make sure we pick up as much as possible. Okay. This goes forward here. What about those other stairs, then? If they go up, do they lead to, like, a storeroom or something? Let me get a drink. Oh? Professor Chen. Oh! That's another reference to Nightmare Invasion. That's a character from that game. 
Man, this game is go doing a good job of uh, plugging that playthrough as well as I am. <laughs> Bampy! Moaning zombie girls. Okay, we're safe. Oh, this is bothering me so much. I feel like I know what this music is. But I can't put my finger on it. Come on. Come on. Ah, damn it. It hit me. Dude. Got him. Okay, perfect. Sound effects are pretty loud here, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Nope. Come on. Excellent. Okay, Polywag is down with two embers. I'm just too high level. And down over here is what? There's Team Rocket members. Walk over their squishy selves. Okay. You're stuck down here. What's the significance? fire went through her again. If you're down here, is there something to pick up? No, I think you're just there to wander. Oh, well. Hold up. Yep, I'm good. Let me just... Oh, that was unfair. Dude, that hit me before I could even, like, do anything about it. Oh, upsets me. Okay, let's take it easy. Have ourselves a little sip. And settle in for the end. Got him. I feel like every time I get hit in the game, it's not always my fault, and it upsets me. <laughs> it's a bit weird how they move around, but yeah. Ah. I didn't get it that time. He hit me. Oh well. Anything here? Nope. Uh-oh. Rhymer's here now. Come on. Damn it. Hang on. Two antidotes the whole game? That's pretty mean. Or I could get to low HP and let it wear out. Let's make sure I don't have to use my second one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I hear another poison shooter. Come on. Walk to the side. Okay, got ya. Long hallways and killing zombies. The hallways have to be like this because of the movement of the NPCs. Damn it. Damn it. Hmm. Damn it, it hit me. We're still alive. We're still alive. Okay, nice. Nothing here. Almost. Uh oh. That's a fampy. It's gonna go into roll up mode. Hang on. It'd be best to just kinda reset the room over and over. And hit it before it has a chance to go into that even once. Oh, damn it. Dude, move over to the middle. He won't do that anymore. Okay. Come on. There we go. Now he moved that way. I'm sure just by watching you can imagine that... Oh, Combat is the most... It's a little crusty, to say the least. But I'm making it work. Something's... Okay, it's shooting Confuse Ray. Or Supersonic. Nice, got it. Everybody get comfy with your bears. We're about to see the end of this game. God, I'm gonna get close to the four-hour mark, aren't I? If that really was a new, a whole new area added earlier, then yeah, it definitely did add it a bit to the game time. Okay.
I feel like a couple of super long diaries were added. Another berry. Hang on. I recognize this track. Hold up. Oh, this is the, um... It's really quiet, but I can turn it up. Listen. This is the exact same, um... Lavender Town meaty that Nightmare Invasion uses for its, uh... Main town explor exploration. It's super quiet, though. Like, I have to turn the audio up to the, like... Super up for to even hear it. That's cool. It's making me nostalgic for Nightmare Invasion, but... Okay, if I go through this door, there's probably no turning back anymore. Should I risk it? Let's go. Okay, let's do it. I'm not seeing any other moral choice for True Ending, so... Maybe it happens at the very last moment. There you are. Yeah, hell broke loose out there. I am incredibly nervous. Don't ask me. Take this. It's for you. Okay, I get a free heal. Good. Brando is fully healed. Uh-oh. Nice of them to stand there and wait for us. Heck! Ethan! That's a lot. Quick. Get in there. And close the door behind you. Miltank and I will take care of these, but go. Okay. Did she die? Oh no. Whitney. Here we are. Seems like the artifact was on this platform. There's something written on it. The power to make everyone weak-willed and dangerous. Whitney dropped that sentence earlier, but there's more. But the one who wants to stop this power should light up the fire and call to the one who has the power of the weak willness. I guess Team Rocket only cared about the first sentence. What does all this mean? Lava. Lava qua lava. Any idea, Brando? We oui, qua lava. Could this work? Good thing I had a fire type. Whoa. Hey, what's up? Holy poop! What the hell is that? Is that a Pokemon? Q9. I have never heard of this Pokemon before. Is this Q9, the legendary undead Pokemon? This looks like something that would appear in Infinite Fusion, yeah. This was many years before Infinite Fusion, yeah. Do we have to kill it to stop this infection? Yes, we do. Brando, if you beat it, we finally won. Go all out. Quilava. Okay. Let's do it. Oopsie. No! Dude, is my movement lagging? The movement doesn't feel right all of a sudden. Uh-oh. Just gotta keep booping it with Ember. That's all I gotta do. Come on. The music is very low compared to the sound effects. I can't even turn it up. Oh, hang on. Of course. That's what that hole is for. Darn it. Not safe. The thing I've hoarded- this is what I've hoarded all my healing items for, so I can just go ham on this. Come on. Damn it, it hit me again. Come on. No problem. I should make sure to get in position like this so I can claw any coming- any incoming zombies. Or not. Come on. Damn it. Hang on. Um, just use a potion for now. Come on, it's almost over. I really went overkill with hoarding my items, huh? Come on. Come 
one. Let's do it. We did it. We saved the world, everybody. Now all that's left is the end cutscene, I think. Brando, you actually did it. You beat the monster. Well, lava. Lava, lava. I knew we could do it. We're an undefeatable team. Hmm? What's happening now? Oh, hang on. What? Is this the good ending or the neutral ending? I I'm not sure. Hmm? Where... Where am I? Rando? Lava. Where... Where is Q9? How did we manage to get out of the tomb? Lava Lava? How? We are... We're still in Elix Forest? Well, Lava Lava? But that means... All of this was just a dream? This is the good ending? Okay, good. But it felt so goddamn real! I've never experienced something like this before. Lava? Never mind. Come on, Brando. Uh-oh, I think it's about to... We gotta challenge the Goldenrod City Gym Leader. I think it's about to play copyrighted credits music. Let's go. Oh no! It wasn't a dream. He was sent back in time. Pretty sure. Right? Hang on. There we go. Sound effects loud, but... God, the mixing is so all over the place, and I have to have my finger on the slider. Look at that. Pokemon Dusk. Not a dream, but Celebi reset everything after that. Developed by Mr. Prinz, RPG Stars, Translation, Timebreaker. Thank you to all those people there. All those people who helped make this come true. No, um... I'm pretty sure by destroying the artifact, he didn't reset things. He... Maybe he made it like it didn't happen? It's not a loop. I'm pretty sure. Hang on, what is the music playing here? I can't hear it, it's so quiet. Oh, oh, hang on, oh! As soon as I said that, it broke into hard rock. After fading out, so I have to mute it. <laughs> Sorry. Contributors, all these people right here. Heck yeah. Contributors, all these people. Heck yeah. I'm just playing it safe, you know? I don't want to spend a bunch of time uploading this and then have to just mute a whole long section because I didn't do this. Celebi turned back time. Yes, it did. I believe the other games explain more about what the heck was going on. We just kind of left Whitney there. Whitney just kind of um, disappeared. Look at that. Check out those screenshots. Heck yeah. All these character sets. Sargoth? Oh, that's the uh, Nightmare Invasion dev. Pictures from Pokemon. Oh, I'm really glad they credited them. I was about to say, I had no idea where anything in this game came from. I'm gonna look that series up when I'm done. <laughs> the bosses were a lot more manageable for me, for sure. Way, way more. No, 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 we don't have to... We don't have to go set up the, um... Oh, hang on. Music's fading out. We don't have to set up a save editor or anything like that, Miner. Don't worry. I, I only just wanted to make sure I could get the true ending. This is important for playing the sequels, right? Special thanks, people. And is there an after credits thing? Anything next? 
Oh. Finally, our adventure can begin. Here we go. Vivi. Chi. Chikorita. Okay, here we go. We did it. We finished the game again. This time we're ready uh, to see the bad ending. Takes a little bit. Brando, you actually did it. This is what happens when you do all bad moral choices, right? Like you let the egg break and you kill Harold. Hey, you're wounded. Oh, poop. This wound's pretty big. Uh, but we can fix that, right? La... Lava. Oh, no. Dot, dot, dot. Brando. Brando. Wake up. Please. Please, I'm begging you, wake up. Brando, come on. Please, wake up. My god. Brando. No. No. Please don't. Bad ending also means you did few side missions. Okay, that also affects it. I haven't not really been clear on what everything does, right? Look at that. Dot, dot, dot. Well, it's been a while since my last visit. What happened since then? Well, the infection is shrinking again, and the world soon reaches a somewhat normal state. All thanks to you, my old friend. You did good, kid. My dream of becoming the greatest Pokemon trainer had to die. I'm also having the therapy. I'm feeling a bit better thanks to it. You will always be my best friend. I really hope you're in a better place right now. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. Well. I think I should go. Yeah. Mom doesn't want me to stay outside for too long. Goodbye, Brando. He did his best. Oh boy. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I have to mute the audio. He's playing a vocal track. Oh, he's breaking out of that. Yeah. Yeah. It starts playing a vocal rock track while Quilava breaks out of the, um, the gravestone. Come on. Okay, we've done it again. This time for the neutral ending, which is the canon one. We're all good. Oh, thank you for the gift right there, friend. I appreciate that. Took quite a bit, but we're all set up. And I did it while purple. Uh, purple. <laughs> Misread Brando and said purple. You beat the monster, Brando. That doesn't matter. Let's see the canon ending. Well, lava, lava, lava. I knew we could do it. We're an undefeatable team. Hey, Whitney shows up. Whitney? I... I thought they got you. A couple of undead beasts can't hurt me. But it was very close, nonetheless. I'm so happy. Yeah, but... What happened here during my absence? We won. You see that smile on his face? What did you say? A legendary undead Pokemon. Don't F with me. <laughs> oh, the potty mouths. But I'm telling the truth. The text on the podium said that the infection would be stopped if the legendary Pokemon gets killed. Wow, crazy. That means we've been saved, right? Not exactly, because... Not exactly, because why? Oh, hang on. What is this? Oh, it's a meaty of something. 
we actively stop the infection, and Team Rocket can't do any more harm. But there are still a lot of undeads out there. Besides, every one of us is infected as well. Okay. Everyone in Johto just got it. That's how it goes. Power plant over in Kanto? This is far from over. We need to get this world running again. Together. Humans and Pokemon need to work hand in hand. There we go. The good ending was just Celebi being like, nope, going back a few days. Could be a time loop, could be something. There are still a lot of people out there that need help. It will take a while, but I'm sure we can make it work. And that's why, that's why I've decided I'm no longer a Pokemon trainer. I would rather help bring this world back in order. I'm sacrificing my dream for the world. There's still a lot of work to do. Let's begin. Oh, amazing. That Clefairy looks very pale. Okay, we're now back at the title screen. I hope you all enjoyed that. We just went through the remaining endings for Pokemon Dusk. This playthrough was a lot of fun. I did enjoy it. It was nice to revisit, especially with the little graphical updates and the new areas that I'm still not entirely sure were actually new, but that's okay. I had a good time with this. I hope all of you guys did too. Remember that the neutral ending's the canon one, although I don't know how that will really play into the other ones when we get to them again. There's Pokemon Dawn, there's Pokemon Dusk Chronicle Dave, and yeah, Dusk Chronicles Dave, sorry I misspoke. And the third one, maybe I'll finally get to play that for the first time, who knows? I think it's in English now. But this is where this recording is gonna end. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. This might just be some random thing that you stumbled upon and you just could not stop watching it. If it is, tell me down in the comments. What, how, how does it feel to watch like an almost decade-old random po like Pokemon horror game like this? It's quite an experience, isn't it? Anyways, look forward to Pokemon Dawn in the, sometime this month, maybe. Have a good night. Bye-bye.